guys doing today? How is it going, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another Ultimate General stream. Today we're basically testing out, testing out the brand new update, seeing what it's like. Hopefully, 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 it's going to be a fun one for sure. Sorry, I'm just finding the right scene. Boom, found it eventually, but my camera's not on yet. Give me a second. I don't know why uh, Streamlabs does this every time. You just go on and like, activate, deactivate. It's so weird, um, but alas. It's weird that this does it, um, but OBS doesn't, you know? Like, OBS has no problem finding my camera. There we go. Oh, no, can't find it again. Yeah, a second. Yeah, as I just need to turn on and off again. Yeah, it's really weird that OBS has this problem, but... Sorry, Streamlabs has this problem, but OBS doesn't. Yeah, a second. Yeah, how's it going, Crisis? Malog, Panther as well. Welcome, guys. How you guys doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the chat. No, it's just not showing up at all. But why? God, literally, the past, like, three months, there's just been tech issue after tech issue. I haven't got the cap. No, I haven't even got the, the thing on, either. I think it's just... I think it's the cable. No, not the cable. Maybe we just go camera this then. All right, give me two seconds. Everybody chill. Everybody vibe for a second. How's it going, uh, Darker Deco as well? Welcome. Good to have you in the, uh, the chat. Give me a second. Yeah, I mean, anime backgrounds, where it's at. Hey, there we go. Plug, take it out, plug it back in again. Boom, we're done. Yeah, I mean, you just use wallpaper engine. It's like two pounds and there's like thousands of, thousands of, tens of thousands of, um, of backgrounds to mess around with. Um, but yeah, how's it going, Chief, as well? Welcome. How you doing today? Welcome. Uh, how's it going, Caden, as well? Crisis. New update. Is the map bigger? Yes. The map uh, has expanded. Uh, I mean, I guess we can look, right, if we go to Discord. Um, so the map has expanded an entire year, right? Or basically an entire year. You can now continue any save. Yeah, to the 15th. And it's expanded just, just to the rest of New York. So it doesn't have a lot of the south. As you go down like to Virginia, it doesn't have any of that stuff yet. Um, but it does expand down to the south, I believe. Oh, yeah. I mean, there is so much not safe for work stuff. So much not safe for work stuff. Um, oh, no. You guys can't even see it. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so major changes. New campaign available through to the 15th of June. Previously, it was August 76, so about six months. Uh, reduced frequency of sea invasions, increased loot received, um, lower difficulty. Global map now shows battles and invasions, which is really nice. Weather now has a larger impact uh, on desertion, disease. Uh, reworked many elements of tactical battles. Many bugs have been improved. Um, stats gains now carry over, so I think units can like completely level up now, which is great. Added additional elements 
uh, that will be part of future campaigns as well. Um, so they're not quite, so they've, they've also shown quite a bit of work as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, where is it? Is it on FAQ maybe? On news, I think. Yeah, they started showing some of the other stuff that they've been working on um, for like the Native American stuff because they, they obviously they're planning for multiple factions to be played. They even, uh, they even put a little post about, about it quite a while ago, actually. Uh, some information about the foreign and local wars and how they can benefit when, for example, the tribes are at war with the British. You can send them weapons. This will increase their chances of victory in any battle, having them lost, uh, yeah, lost this battle in any battle and having lost this battle. The British will be forced to send some troops. Yeah, so basically, if you kind of support foreign wars, then there'll be less kind of uh, engagements in your area, uh, which is cool. Um, yeah, really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, we can just... We need to get started, right? Because I need, I need to start... So we're starting a new campaign with all the new changes. And again, the changes I just mentioned as well, um, there's like a ton of extra bits if we go down to it. Yeah, like that was just... That was just like general... That was just major changes. Doesn't include all these general improvements. Um, doesn't include the general balancing, the tactical balancing, bug fixes. I mean, there was also a bit of a patch as well. So yeah, it's gonna be fun, I think. Also, this is gonna be a real nice test as well um, to see if my computer is just fucked. <laughs> Excuse my French. Because obviously on Bannerlord, my computer just shuts down like constantly like absolutely constantly um so it'll be interesting to see if it does it with other games i don't really play any other games being completely honest i play like a bit of league now and again um but yeah nothing that really pushes my computer not that this is really gonna push my computer but it will still be interesting whilst i'm streaming if i run into any issues um uh and i guess maybe we could do some like total war afterwards maybe just to like really try and like maybe I can just like bench test Warhammer and see if it crashes my computer. Uh yeah. Yeah, it's so fucked. But I think what I'm gonna do, um, it's so annoying and so much effort, but it is what it is. I'm gonna have to use my old computer. Luckily I still have it and I, I put all my old components into that old PC. But yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to plug my other computer into my main monitor and just do all my banner law recording on that. Again, try, maybe maybe it won't work. Maybe it is just like a I don't know, but that that piece, like, I don't see why that, that PC should have any issues running Bannerlord. It's got a 2070 Super and it's got an i7 in, like, it's a decent computer. It's got a crappy SSD, but it's got an SSD uh, in it. So, yeah, I think it was whenever I'm going to have to record Bannerlord, I just do it on that PC and I just have to, like, yeah, unplug, replug. I do need to obviously install OBS, but I can move all my files over, so that's not a problem. What's going on? Oh, yeah, Joe, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing well, dude. Hope you're doing well. What's going on with the PC? Um, so whenever I'm playing Bannerlord, it just shuts down. Yeah, my PC just it just kills itself. Like whenever I'm playing, it's very random. Generally, when I'm saving the game, um, when I click save, it will just like restart, which is so weird. Uh, it's not a hard drive issue. I've checked my hard drives. Could be a RAM issue. I don't know. Um, I personally feel like it's a Bannerlord. Yeah, it's only Bannerlord, uh, which is just really, really weird. I mean, I guess we'll find out, right? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Um, if it does it today, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to have to plug in my other PC. Install OBS. The annoying thing is going to be moving over all my mic settings and stuff and just hoping shit doesn't mess up. But yeah, I guess that's just what we're going to have to do. And I'm just going to have to like bolt record, but like take a day and just, just grind for like the week worth of content. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Do you know what the issue was, Panther? Either I today I moved back my my graphics card drivers just to see. I went back to like August of last year. And I don't know. See if that works, maybe. Because I don't think it's a power supply issue either. Because my motherboard still has power to it. Like when it happens, I look over and I've still got lights on my motherboard. So I don't think it's that either. Maybe like I guess maybe it's RAM. Could be RAM. I, I don't. It's just a really. It's just a really fucked situation. I guess I could also try plugging in the old RAM from my other computer as well. 
I guess that's worth trying. The annoying thing is, though, like, is... I'm not someone who stocks up content, so I don't really have a lot of content. And, you know, the channel doesn't do insanely well, so it's very hard to justify missing days of content. To, like, figure shit out as well, because... I don't make videos, I don't don't get paid and I have a wedding to pay for. So yeah, it's just a very weird, it's just a very shitty situation. But yeah, maybe maybe my last ditch effort is I just simply switch out my RAM um with the RAM my other PC. And like that's probably my last guess. Yeah, but I don't think it is a power supply issue, because when it happens, like I look over, because I've got a glass case. You guys can probably see it. Uh, like, I've got a glass case. Um, and, like, I can see my motherboard still has a bit of power to it. So, yeah, like, the, the only thing I can think of is, like, maybe my RAM is fried or something. But it's only done it in Bannerlord patch. Like, I think like, it only does it in Bannerlord, this latest Bannerlord patch as well. So, I don't know. Yeah, so <laughs> I guess any any uh, any donations to the channel uh, will definitely all go towards buying replacement PC parts and just hoping that something works. <laughs> oh god, if only I had a uh, a PC sponsorship, eh? Just to get sent a new one to record. That'd be that'd be the dream. Um, <laughs> all right, cool. Let's load in. Let's load in because I'm excited. I'm excited to see and, and test out all the changes. Like apparently the game. Oh, my camera as well. Ooh. I know the game has gone through a lot of balancing and stuff, so I'm excited to mess around with that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly, right? If the RAM is fucked, then it shouldn't be able to run anything. But again, like it's not like I really play many intensive games. Like I literally play like a bit of League now and again, and that's that's literally about it. Uh, let me turn up the music as well quickly. So it's, it's just a very weird situation. It really is. Yeah, hey, how's it going, Swedish? How you doing today, my man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Have you watched the tutorial videos I sent you for tomorrow? Better. Yeah. I mean, people have said they've had the same issue on the official Banner Lord launcher as well. So it'd be, it would be so weird. If, like, why would it be the Novus launcher? Like, I just, it just doesn't make sense, right? But yeah, I don't know. I need to watch because I won't remember. True that. True that. Could be your processor overheating. Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. Maybe, like, it, it overheats and just restarts. Because it does get pretty hot with my cooler. It goes up to, like, 85. But it's an i9, so it shouldn't, like... It should be okay. I, I think, again, I'm going to buy a... I think... I think what I'm going to have to... Like, I'm, I'm just going to do it anyway because this is kind of old. I'm going to buy... Um, why am I being tagged? Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to probably pick up... Just make sure this doesn't show my address anywhere. No. Yeah, I'm probably going to grab a new cooler for my, for my, my, my CPU anyway because my one I've got in there is pretty old. It was used for my i7 and a much less power-intensive thing. Obviously, it's pretty expensive, so uh, I probably have to wait like a month or two uh, and then grab this and hope. Um, yeah, hope that maybe, maybe there's that issue. Um, but yeah, I think just, yeah, grabbing that. I need to get something very decent that will last um, with obviously running an i9, 4070, 4090. Like, things get hot. Um, 
So yeah, I think I might just save for a month or two uh, and grab this. Uh, and then that will, again, something will test, you know, you never know. Oh yeah, I mean, it's not the GPU. I've got a 4090, right? So it's not going to be, not going to be that. Um, it's not going to be the issue. Let me just turn on my light and we'll get started. Also, before we do get started as well, uh, just to let you guys know, um... Uh, I am currently uh, drinking some glorious, glorious gamer subs right here. Uh, I'm currently on the awesome uh, guacamole gamer farts. Uh, you can go ahead and check gamer subs out. They have amazing flavors. Uh, they have uh, caffeine free ones as well, I believe. You can get yourself a free sample set sent to you for free, uh, which is really nice so you can try it out. Use code FISH uh, and it's a great way to support the channel. Um, I think it's exclamation mark game subs in the chat i'm actually not sure what the command is um but yeah check them out uh, as i said it's by far the best tasting flavor of energy drink i've tried so definitely worth it and i appreciate them sponsoring the channel um did you say novice launcher no novice, novice novice launcher whatever the the custom one is um, I actually don't know what the code is because Queek set it up, so I actually don't know what the exclamation mark, whatever it is, is. Um, but cool, are we ready? Are we ready to get started? Check out my new update, see what everything has to offer. Everybody type 1 in chat if you are guys are ready. Uh, let me just make sure the settings are all good. Yeah, we're good. We're Gucci. We're Gucci. Graphics. Yeah, English. Yeah. Uh, what? Um, also, one thing I was just wondering really quickly. Uh, one thing I was just wondering really quickly is where are we on their... Um, do they have it on their website, right? Like, where are we on their timeline? Because this is like the first major update, right? Ultimate General American... Revolution store. I think they have it on their website, right? Uh, if we go to their website, they have it at the bottom. Yeah, so we're currently here. So the next update is going to be the basically the the last major part, like a major map expansion. I imagine that will be like the major major map expansion. Then after that, we get the British. Okay, cool, nice. I imagine this is when we're going to come into early access on Steam, is like here, when you have a bit of a British campaign and the US campaign, um, which is exciting. So I imagine we'll get this one like in like a month or two, probably, right? And that'll probably be a lot of the, the, the East Coast. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Second... Uh, OBS up. Uh, cool, let's get started then. So I think I'm gonna run with a very Every similar. Is born to do something great. Every day they have a choice to take a step closer to their destination or to run away. Uh, yeah. So I think I'm gonna do a, a similar play style, but I, I know they've changed a lot of it as well. Um. Cool. Uh, should we just be George Washington? Nah, we'll be Jackie Fish, of course. Jackie Fish, the god gamer. Boom. Sorry, what? Your name consists of only two parts. Okay, that's fine. Jackie Fish, the god gamer. Boom. As the eldest child, <laughs> that's how I you took get on around much the, system, of the responsibility boys. for my younger brothers and sisters. Is the uh, game volume okay as well, by the way? Yeah, Steam Early Access is planned for summer 2024, with the American campaign fully finished by then, at least. That's the plan. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's interesting then. Um, we'll have to see, because at the rate they're going, they haven't got much time, right? So, again, none of this stuff really matters too much. I wish they'd, like, give a bigger stat boost, you know? Like... At the age of 11, I lost my father. And the responsibility for all family affairs passed to me. Should have had underscores, underscores and, and numbers. That would have been the true part of my daily routine. The true gamer. Um, 
Okay, so spotting range, command aura, own speed. Let's go, command aura. I spent aura. my adolescence studying and managing the family's plantation. My mentor and older half brother, who is like a father to me, died during our trip to Barbados. His loss affected me greatly. Um, endurance. So we want to endurance, right? So we want to. Yeah, charisma is like whatever. At the age of twenty. I was appointed commander of the Virginia militia, in part due to my organizational talents. Tensions over control of the Ohio River Valley eventually Just keep, just keep guessing commands. You guys will get it eventually. I yeah, I have no idea what Queek said management as. to help prepare my. Uh, willpower, stamina, firearms. Probably stamina, right? Just having soldiers being able to last a little bit longer is always good. Um, definitely the money for sure. And then we just take the warship again. So they have improved it, which is great. They've improved it so that the additional cache of weapons gives you a thousand brown besses. Uh, which is really nice, right? Getting access to a thousand brown besses early on in the game is huge. You can basically outfit the entire um, like actual infantry battalions that you get or regiments you get right away with these brown besses. And then also have enough to... Uh, to last, like, last yourself to replenish, especially if you're winning battles against the British. Which is really nice. Um, but I think we will just go for warships again. Like, it's the best way to make money. Yeah, it's the best way to make money. Also, you can kind of see the, this map as well. So this is kind of cool. So I think right now, we've just gotten this bottom bit of blue in. So it's like all this blue up through here and then all of this. So it's actually a decent portion of the map. Actually, I don't know if this part is in yet. The purple part. Can you guys see that? It's very, like, very, very close. But yeah, it's the new new addition to the map is like this, I think. It's basically the rest of New York. Yeah, I mean, all you all you need, all you need is um. All you need is cannons, right? <laughs> We're going to take the warship boat. With I, like, I like the naval combat. Um, have they changed the difficulty darker, do you know? Do you know if they've changed the difficulty at all? Uh, is hard still going to be a, a decent challenge, or...? New York indeed, yeah. Hard is pretty doable. We stay on. We didn't stay on hard. Let's just stay on hard. It's been a little while since I've played, right? So. It's been a little while since I've played. So the arrival, I uh, hired two regiments, one from Pennsylvania and one from Virginia, to support the Patriot cause. I have travelled to Massachusetts with two regiments, eager to join the fight against the British. The Patriot army is in need of reinforcements, and we have arrived. Two hired uh, regiments is welcomed sight. I must quickly integrate my new soldiers into battle. Oh god, okay, it's been a while since we played. It's been a while since we played. So immediately we'll give these guys the endurance right. Endurance is king. Um, yeah, we'll do that immediately. And we just head down to the south again quickly. Uh, obviously we have the main battles that we raise immediately as well. I guess so. Um, yeah, let's get burns in there. Civilian, civilian. Do we have cannons? We don't. Oh, we do have cannons. Okay. Yeah, we can just bitch basically go boom. Let them raise up and we head, head down to Providence immediately. Let's do it. I, again, I have... Very, we should have a music on as well whilst we're here. I have, uh, yeah, not really played much. Oh, yeah, we also have this as well on the warship. Okay, so they need to crew. On a hard, are we going to be able to hold Portsmouth? Is the question. Maybe. We don't have enough cannon for it. We don't have enough guns now either. Let's maybe just do something like that. Try and raise it up to two regiments and we'll see. You'll be building up as well very soon. You just need ammunition. All right, cool. So this initial part of the campaign is well and truly a blitz. Uh, we need these guys to go up. Give a map up as well so we can see where battles are. And let's do it. Okay. How much impact of a rifle restrictions? What do you mean, a crisis rifle restrictions? 
Uh, so it's the first day we're waiting to go by, and then we can do that. You guys move in there, you build up here. Okay, cool. I feel like we're moving way faster on the campaign map as well. Ah, cool. So let's urge, let's, let's fight the first initial battle. It says in the update, rifles are only allowed on skirmishes. Yeah, not bad at all. You don't really use, like, I, I, I basically use muskets on all my soldiers anyway. Um, so that's how it should be. Like, I think it's a really good change. It just kind of cleans up what, like, instead of being able to do everything and then forgetting, like, I think it's way better to go about it that way. Way, way better. Sorry, just give me a sec. Cool. Uh, yeah, nice. So this is the normal battle. Again, we've, we've done this a billion times. I don't know if it's been made easier, harder, whatever. Um, but we will sit. Whoa, 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 whoa. This has... No, we're looking the wrong way. Are we looking the wrong way? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. So let's take these skirmishers obviously out to the forest and we'll leave these guys in the forest. I think that's good enough. We have some skirmishers we'll push up. This infantry uh, regiment or I guess brigade. What are they called again? Companies. Yeah, we'll move up this infantry company um, into the forest. And again, you guys will have to give me any, any advice on the new changes, but it shouldn't be too difficult to win this one. We just need to delay the British forces as much as possible. Oh, that's nice. It's where you can see when a unit's charging. It's where you can fall back. Let's get in this forest. That'll give us some extra cover. We're going to take the first British volley. There's a couple men there. That's fine. Yeah, they'll be there. Good enough to delay the British line for a little bit longer. You guys go in support of that. These muskets are going to be get out, getting up here soon. First battle pretty much stay the same. Good, good, good. Yeah, I mean, they're doing an okay job. We're in cover. One thing that is a bit silly, though, is like, we're in like this cover, but we, we're, only get, we're getting less cover than here. I feel like these positions should give you way more. Wait, so previously, when you were really close to the enemy, you weren't getting an extra damage bonus. I thought you did. That's why I always used to get really close with my with my civilian muskets. Let's pull back there. Um, yeah, that's why I always used to get really close with my civilian muskets. I thought that made a difference, but I guess not. Okay, our first big group of infantry. First company we'll send in. Again, you guys can just get over here. You guys continue to fight. You guys are back now. Again, just keep on falling back. We're just trying to delay... The Labour British line. It's getting cover there. Rest up a little bit. Yeah, but it was marginal. Okay. That's great then. It's great that they've changed that. That was a much needed change. We just have, what, more Minutemen here? Yeah, two two more Minutemen. Okay, that's, that's really nice. You can now see when the AI is charging as well. Like That makes our life so much nicer. Now that they have a little icon. Like, I, I could, yeah, I could literally immediately see that when they, when they start charging. That is so nice. Okay, so we've captured the manganese, and now we're just holding for, what, another another day or another hour? That should be easy enough. I imagine, like, I imagine the AI is going to be probably a bit easier because there's going to be less invasion. So you can see them charging. Can we get a volley off? No, let's fall back now. Oh, I did take a bit of a pounding there. Oh, we're getting hammered hard. That unit is going to hold for much longer. Pull back if you guys can. Can you guys get a good little volley off? They're blocked, apparently. They should be able to fire now, though. In their side as well. Oh, and we just got hammered there as well. Okay, I mean, your job is to simply... We're just delaying, right? We're just delaying, and I would love to try and bring some units off to the flank here as well. Whilst the actual forces get stuck in here. Away with so let's you, form up there. Beggar. And then, yeah, you guys are going to come in and actually form up on the defences here. Yo, Squiddy, thank you so much for two years. Oh, my Lord. Two years. That's incredible. Thank you so much, Squiddy. I really appreciate it. Uh, I still remember when... Uh, oh, God, we got, we got caught here. Okay, just can't charge. Then. We're going to get massacred, but go for it. I, I still remember when you... Uh, Forced me to stay up very late during one of the subathons. I think it was the Warhammer 2, Warhammer 3 subathon. Came in at like... I guess it was actually good because it was your time. <laughs> Thank you so much for two years. Though. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're doing well.
He says, guess who's in painting shame? Hey, it's no shame if you're painting. That's a massive achievement. Because it means you're actually getting rid of your, your pile of shame. All right, them skirmishes are all dead. One of the nice things about this battle uh, also is that the more soldiers... Like, it doesn't really matter if we lose this entire army. Like, literally does not matter if we lose this entire, entire army. Because these aren't actually my soldiers, so... Cool. Let's just get all these new soldiers in. Okay, okay. The music stopped. Uh, I don't think they've fully implemented the music, so I'm just going to play my own quickly. Give me a second. Let me just whip up. All right, that should be good. Also, guys, if you are enjoying the stream, please do drop a like. It really helps out, and I'll definitely do more of this. I'll, like, I'll definitely continue this on um, in a proper series, especially if it doesn't cause my game to crash. I guess I should also have the NZXT thing up on the side just quite so I can see. Like, obviously, this isn't going to be as as intensive as, say, like, Bannerlord is. But it's good to, good to look, I guess. Cool. So, we, we've dragged off a lot of their soldiers to the left flank, which is nice. Oh, yeah, you guys just fall back. Do I still get rear? Do I still get, um... Do I still get hammered if I... If I fall back? Do you know, Darker? If I fall back as I'm getting shot, does, do I still get rear flanked? Because that's that used to be a thing. Okay, you guys are just skirmishing, which is good. This is all, like, what I'm trying to do is just drag more soldiers away. Because, again, we just have to hold for a timer. And more and more soldiers do reinforce. Oh, yeah, we should also hold as well. Right. What gives you more cover? Yeah, 49% is fine there. Um, so if you time the volley right, you can damage a charging unit pretty hard, but melee is still uh, viable, especially against cannons. Is melee more viable now than it was previously? Because I remember charging cannons were just absolutely impossible. Like, there was just no way you would ever be able to charge a cannon. Like, it, it, just, it just would not happen, right? In the previous patches. Is it a bit more... Uh, a bit more real... Not realistic, but a bit more sensible now? You guys get in hold as well. Okay, they're charging back. That, like, like, that's just... That's so crazy, right? Um, like... How a, a tiny UA, UI change can do so much. Like, this is just such a simple UI change. But it's like, in large battles, like, I can immediately look to that and see that. Like, it is so, so silly. It's so silly that just, like, such a small change can add so much to a game. Like, I'm, like, looking around and then I just immediately see that. And I'm like, oh, crap, I'm being charged. Like, fall, fall back. Like, that's, that's like, so... That's a, yeah, that's kind of just like, a, stuff like that really interests me. Like that small, that tiny UI change. Oh, yo, Vanda, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, rear flanking on fullback should be fixed. Might still be some issues with stopping mid fullback. Yeah, I think that's fine, right? If you specifically tell your unit to un fullback, then they deserve to be rear, rear flanked. Like if you try and cheese it. Then yeah, you, you should definitely get punished from that. Um, like I feel like if I've been, I take these guys. I'm like, oh no, go back now. I've because like it's it's quite like it's the way you utilize that to like counter a charge is you fall back. But then if you like immediately stop, then you deserve to be shot in the back, right? You know, I deserve to take that. Okay, more boys arriving. Good, we can start using these guys on the flank. Oh, we got our first big boy unit as well. Okay, this flank is looking a little bit scary, so I'm just going to station these guys up in these woods. I mean, you guys can go there. Uh, Panda as well. Uh, I was going to ask, and something I've just totally forgot to do, um, but do you guys have a save just when the new map opens up, out of interest, for, for the new update? Or, like, does anyone on the Discord have a save that they could send me? Because I would love to... Um, I'd love to make a video with just showing off a new update. Um, but obviously, it would save me a lot of time. 
if I just had a save where the, the, ne the new parts of the map just get opened up after Canada. The extra regions in New York that was added? Was it New York that got added? Like parts of New York? I believe. Okay, let's start getting these guys around the flank. Luckily, these guys are holding like absolutely gods. Uh, does this game help with the Empire Total War 2 itch? Yeah, I mean, it's great. Obviously, it's not as graphically intense as, say, Empire Total War. Um, but yeah, it is a great job. Like, it, you really do have that feel as naval battles and stuff. Like, it's, it's a very good game in its own right. Cool, more reinforcements are arriving. We need to hold for another 40 minutes. And yeah, our big boy units are about to arrive. Honestly, these small groups of skirmishers are doing an insane job. It's probably all the cover, right? I might move these guys up, or do we just leave them in the forest? I'm not sure. Yeah, nice. All these guys now turning up, so you guys can move our backup line. Yeah, got one on the 4th of August. Yeah, if you could just send that over to me on Discord, just DM me it. That'd be insane. That'd just make, like, because I already really have been wanting to make a new video just to show. Oh, God. What do we do here? Do we just take this? I guess we could charge in. Like, we don't win this. I guess you guys need to reform. And then do we charge? And we've got this coming in as well. A fat 250, which could probably help fight it back, but. It's like getting them in. God damn it. Why was I talking to you guys? <laughs> Do I, I think I just fall back, maybe. Are oh, you guys a charge? Can I charge? Okay, just charge in. Get stuck in. Yeah, that was completely my bad there. Uh, where are you guys going? <laughs> are you guys going to... We're going to start cleaning up this flank, but yeah, that was really bad. How does exhaustion affect units? I mean, like in every manner, right? Uh, it makes them shoot slower. It makes them break quicker. Uh, it makes them fight really poorly in melee. Basically, every every single way you can think of exhaustion is is bad. Conditioning is like obviously super important. Okay, so these units are going to start coming down now and hit me in my flank. So we, of course, need to stop that. We need a big 250-man unit now to get in here. Yeah, they're pretty much, they were able to shoot this unit in the side, which is bad. Uh, yeah, just everybody reform. Any extra reinforcements? Yeah, we have, okay, we have the rest of basically the gank patrol now turning up. You two can now go in there. You guys should be able to really start whittling that one down. And yeah, you guys are going to hold up here and basically just de delay them some more. You guys are firing there. Guys, just chill. You guys don't need to do anything crazy. Is that 250 man unit firing? We need it to. Cool, good. I mean, again, we just got civilian muskets, so we're really, really poor off. Is this just the, the time to charge, I think, maybe? Because I know, I know they changed melee to make it way less enticing with these big blobs, but I believe it's still just as enticing if you hit the enemy from the flanks. Like, as long as you, like, hit the enemy from multiple directions, you can still just absolutely demolish the British line. Yeah. One thing I would love for them to add, um, like I'd really love for them to add, is having text pop up, like they do when you get shot in the in, when you get shot in the back, basically saying like, "Oh, you rear flanked them." Um, you know, like as I come in here, as I charge them, I'd love for it to come up saying "flanked," you know, so I know that this is actually doing something. Um, so I know that this charge actually had a big impact. Because right now you're like, oh, okay, I've hit them. But does it actually do anything? You know? It obviously does. But I'd love for the game to show me that. Um, which I feel like it kind of doesn't do at the moment. So that would be like a big change I would make. Well, not a big change, but just a small change. Again, with like the UI improvements, that would be great. Okay, bit of friendly fire. Let's reform now. Are they charging me? They could be trying to charge me. I'll just get really close. We have to worry about this a bit. You guys are still firing in, so there's that. This is obviously ultra scary. We need to hold for another 30 minutes. Most of our soldiers are still, like, cleaning up the flank a little bit. 
I mean, you guys can push up again. We have like a... We, we, yeah, we got more reinforcements here. Are you guys just charging? Okay, you guys charge in there in the flank then. I mean, you guys basically go to deal with this. You guys haven't got your charge back. That's fine. You guys now arrived, which is good. Yeah, we just need to deal with this. Obviously, our minimum are much uh, less crazy. But we are also getting some rear flanks like shots in as well. Lots of friendly fire. You guys have turned to deal with that. Good. We cleared up that British uh, company. Okay. Now we can start forming up. This is all the British have left now. So we should be able to just slowly whittle them down, I think. Nice. The fortifications give a melee bonus. So staying in them. Oh, nice. Okay. I didn't know that. Didn't know that. That's, that's good to know. Uh, is it... Is it true that these games are made by the creator of Darth Mod. I'm not sure if he still works in the company. It was his company. But then I believe base then I believe or he was like part of the founding fathers of that company. I mean I'm not sure if they sold it. But they, they did sell it. They sold it to I can't remember who. Um I'm not sure if he still works on these games. Um honestly don't know off the top of my head so I don't want to just lie. Darth works on Dreadnoughts. Yeah, so he, he does still work as as part of the game, yeah. Uh, as, as part of the, the studio, I should say. Which is obviously super cool, right? Super cool. Darth mod being as OG as it is. Yeah, just keep on firing. I don't know why you guys have to get so close. Just, like, fire him. We've got him on the run, boys. Oh, we need to definitely run away all these prisoners as well. You guys pursue them. Let's clump up our prisoners. We even have reinforcements here as well, yeah. And we, we completely crushed the British here. Superior numbers, boys. Makes all the difference. How? Uh, yeah, sorry, I read that already, Squiddy. Oh, Squiddy. Um, tomorrow, if you're interested, I think, unless someone has taken your spot already, or taken a, the spot, if you're interested in learning Twilight Imperium, uh, I am running... Um, I'm going to be teaching Queek, Marcellus. Away with you, Oh, uh, yeah. Queek, Marcellus, um, Swedish. Someone else? Someone else said they were interested. Can't remember who. Black Wolf said he was interested. Um, I and mean, obviously myself. So if you're interested, um, you're more than welcome to join. Probably around about 2 p.m. my time. Um, so again, might be too late for you. But again, invites there, of course. Gonna probably we're gonna probably play for like two hours just so people can get a good grip, like get to grips with the game. Um, about two p.m. my time. Can you use the prisoners as human shields? I actually don't know. We can see if we can commit some war crimes. If you get too close to the AI regiments, uh, I'm GMT, I think, or BSD. It's currently half three for me at the moment in the afternoon. Um, yeah, we can try. I don't think you can. If these guys get too close to the AI, they will uh, they will turn coat, basically, and rejoin back up. So you want to make sure you run away your prisoners. Uh, we can probably just charge down these last couple units now. Finish up the battle. Um, yo, how's it going, NLD? Welcome. 28 months. Holy crap. Love the Legionary series and updates for the, this game. Hell yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying the content, dude. Yeah, so the Legionary campaign should be back probably either tomorrow or the day after. I think what I'm going to do, because obviously if you've been following it, you know all my PC issues I've been having. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my old PC and just try and record that series in bulk. Um, and just try and record like two episodes at a time and yeah then just put it back on this computer and then edit it until I can figure out what the issue is oh nice metal concert who are you seeing I mean I won't have a clue who they are but uh, yeah who are you seeing I mean maybe I will I doubt it but again you're more than welcome to join obviously the game is pretty in like pretty taxing. Um, there's a lot to learn, like a lot to learn. But obviously, it's 100% worth it, and you're more than welcome to join. Of course. 
Okay, let's just charge in now. We should be able to finish these guys off. Kill the British. Yeah, thank you so much, NLD. I really appreciate it 20, uh, 28 months. The memberships help so much. They really do, dude. Um, I'm very grateful, so thank you. America would never commit war. Easier as well, because there's less sea invasions. Have they changed anything to do with the naval engagements in the in this in this patch or not? Are naval engagements still the same? Oh, that's a good little volley right there. No naval changes. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Are there st are there less British ships or are there still the, is it like literally the exact same system? No, like I know there's less invasions, but do the British still have like as good as ships as they have and everything? Can I just select everybody? Charge the cannons, boys! Charge the cannons! Imagine if these, this one unit cannons routed me. The game is awesome. Your last playthrough was a lot of fun to watch. Hell yeah, I appreciate that, Dale. Thank you so much, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, hopefully this, this one will be really good as well with the new changes. Uh, are prisoners used? Yeah, you basically you can. I don't think they've implemented prison camps yet. Um, let's see if this one unit of British. Uh, yeah, okay. British cannon dies so much quicker. Holy crap, that's nice. And there's everything right. They literally have nothing left besides their general. We just shoot him. I think if we kill him here. Okay. Anyone left? I don't think so. Nice. A clean little victory right there. Convoy escorts have changed. Uh, a disengage system from global back to naval battles will be hopefully in the next patch. Cool. Nice. Yeah, that'd be quite nice. Yeah, that'd be quite nice to have it so that ships can disengage a lot more and just have to go back to port rather than just a, an all-out brawl. Prisoners add to your workforce and there are prisoner exchange events. Yeah, I knew there are prisoner exchange events, but there's like, there's like a prison camp tech, right, where you can increase it? Um, but the last time that wasn't in, I don't know if it is now. Um, again, as I said, it's been a little while since I've played. Cool, next day. So let's now send out the ship. I believe I believe this is what you do, right? I mean, you search for enemies and you capture and you get like an easy, easy ship to kill. Um, stamina. Okay, let's come down. Let's do the old classic capture, capture, capture. Um, I was like two seconds about to purchase a more expensive version of it yesterday, but I'm not quite ready to spend the 80 yet. Yeah, I mean, well, the game is coming to Steam apparently in, in the summer, um, and obviously there's no guarantee that this version will carry over. So but you could just like obviously wait until then, uh, you know, isn't the worst thing in the world. Do we send this unit up? Do we try and hold Portsmouth as well? I might, you know. I might honestly just try and hold Portsmouth of these two regiments. Cool. Yeah, just a sloop. Do we care about the sloop? I guess we do, just to minimize damage. Do we care about the sloop? I mean, obviously, it's an easy one to just engage and just capture right away. Yeah, it's great. Let's just go in. Yo, how's it going, Black Wolf? You watched the goddamn tutorial video? Yeah. You better be prepared for tomorrow. I have no slackers in my, my classroom. Right, cool. Yeah, we have, we have plenty. Uh, of course, let's just go. They've really uh, improved the... Uh, so we're going to do that. Let's go down to base sales so we can turn. Yeah, you want to go down to really low sales, right, when you're turning against the wind? Or am I... Am I do I need to go into battle sales? I can never remember what sales I need to go down to. I think it's to these sales. To turn quickly. Anyone know when we're, when we're when we're um can't remember what it's called now. God, all my years of naval action have failed me. 
Uh, what is it called when you're going against, when you're trying to turn in tacking? Yeah, when you're attacking, you go down to battle sails, right? God, the wind is really hitting me hard. Honestly, unacceptable, Black Wolf. Unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you guys obviously have time, please do try and watch the videos. Just so that stuff does make sense when I'm explaining it. We got the full sails now. Where's the video? Um, it's in the it's in the cool people chat. If one of you guys could just link it, Squiddy, are you in the maidens chat? If one of you one of the uh, people um, could just link it in the maidens chat for Squiddy to watch quickly, it's basically like two 30 minute videos. Um, you don't need to watch part part one's all about the lore and stuff. It's basically two 30 minute videos, and we do a really good job of explaining what stuff does. And you can you can you can also link as well. Basically, link what I linked in the in the mod chat. And just basically, yeah, you can also just download the uh, the T. So we're gonna be doing it on TTS, um, Tabletop Simulator. So we're just gonna be looking for a quick board here, because this sloop can be great for sacrificing. We can even just sell it as well. Just using it as a meat shield is quite nice. We're going to be looking just to board it right up, though, of course. Getting like a volley of grape would be great. Let's go down to battle sails quickly so we can turn a bit faster. We Tokyo drifted it. Okay, cool. Perfect. And then we turn. We speed up again. Full sails, please. We slightly hit them, but we should be fine now. Yeah, I mean, our depression on our cannons is not that good. <laughs> oh, we actually hit someone. Okay, that's not bad. I guess we are firing down. Okay, we just need to match their speed, and then we're good. They have hit my, my sails a little bit. You can see a few holes. Okay, there you go. We should have them now. Good, perfect. Yeah, we should, we should demolish that crew. Again, it's only a sloop. This isn't the ship we were looking for, but, you know, it's better than nothing. And again, you're, you're telling me that there's been no changes to, like, naval uh, naval combat in, like, the past, like, three months. Like, naval engagement. And we can't even take it. That's so annoying. That's annoying. So, yeah, I literally should have just not fought that battle, honestly. Oh, well. Um, I didn't say we uh, sunk them, though. Hopefully, it just does remove the sloop. Have I, uh, hey man, have I tried Age of Wonders 4? Yeah, I have an entire series on it. I think I have a couple actually, Age of Wonders. Uh, yeah, it's really fun, really fun. Um, how many, how much crew did we lose there? I think we'll be still be fine to try and hunt down this last last British ship. Yeah, this is the one we were looking for. 140. Yeah, we should have more crew as well because they were just engaged against one of my escorts. So this is the ship we were looking for here. So let's go back in. Uh, realistically, you should do it with full sails as you'd be as you would, but in the real world, you could turn foremost means independent uh, and pivot. Okay, yeah. So you'd basically you'd turn one sail inwards and one sail outwards, right, to try and like channel the wind to turn you. Because I remember doing that in naval action. It was like one of the most confusing things. Okay, so we still have more crew. Okay, this is this is good. We're going to obviously lose a lot of officers here. Um, but it's fine. And we obviously don't want to damage the ship either. Would it be called a drift? I mean, that's basically what you are doing. You don't actually play the new update yet? I mean, yeah, me neither, really. To be fair, it's not like the hugest of updates. It's basically just polishing what they already have and adding in a bit, a bit of a new map. Really? Um, yeah. It's not like the biggest update in the world. I think the next big update will be, right? Because that'll be adding in, hopefully, a lot more of the south. I 
Reputation gained from naval water battles was destroyed. Yeah, I mean, it needed to be, right? Uh, sale price to capture ships reduced. Repairing a ship multiple times results in less component HP. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Like, you could quite quickly demolish the British. And you just, you just capture their ships. I think the disengage option will be great. So that the British ships can get away. But obviously have to be out of action for a while. That will be another great way of being able to smash the British fleet. But also requiring, requiring you to actually have to build more as well. Do we just... I think we literally just like mount this bad boy right away. Again. We should win it right with actually 60 men. Okay, let's get our nice little grape shot off. This will help obviously reduce the crew. And we'll be doing crazy damage here because obviously their ship's still pretty healthy. But we just like whittle down it. Oh, we set them a fire ablaze. Uh, let's go down to probably battles or like half mask. They're trying to turn away from me. That fire should definitely hurt the morale, right? Let's go back up to, to pretty much full mask. Yeah, full mask now. Don't let them get away. Oh, come on. Don't let them get away. I kind of maybe shouldn't have gone so slow. We need to speed up a bit and then I think we locked them. Yeah, we lock, we lock them now. There we go, cool. Come on, boys. I mean, that fire must be hitting them. They set me a, a, a blaze now. All right, boys, go on, whittle them down. Yeah, I mean, we're we are the, the gap is closing. But yeah, we break them good. Good, good, good. Nice. Um, so is this gonna lose me a ship? This is gonna lose me a ship, right? Because he's dead. So it this was literally I just got scammed. He's dead, so whatever I do, I mean, I guess we just gone to the new ship, like that. I won't lose the ship, I better not. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> reputation game was pretty silly. Oh no, we didn't. Okay, good. Let's get back to let's get back to Portsmouth quickly. See if we can repair. Because they also improved the repair. Oh, we got locked down into this. I mean, this isn't bad. This will give us some guns actually. But I need to get back to port ASAP. Did I send you guys up there? I did, right? Yeah. When you guys pushing that, cool. Let's go. As soon as this is over, we need to then break out. Uh, this is a battle we don't need to fight because they're just gonna break, so it's fine. You guys haven't fully replenished yet. Cool. Oh my god, I lost a ship! I lost a ship against that trade caravan! Is that a joke? Oh my god. I actually kind of want to reload that. That is... I lost a ship against a British merchant navy. A merchant ship. Probably crew loss. Yeah, it makes sense. Do not engage that British uh, merchant navy. Oh my god, we did it again. Oh my god, we lost it again. Okay, we just need to go a different direction, man, I guess. Spits, spits drink, spits tea. Spits tea everywhere. That was insane, man. That was insane. Go up. Avoid this ship right here. Okay, now get back there to port. You guys capture that, please. Yeah, we're good here. We shouldn't take too many losses, so that should be fine. No, just get back to port, please. Yeah. Cool, so they got in. They should. Obviously, you need an officer. You got a new officer? Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter, but obviously every bit of morale does help, so we'll pick you. Okay, cool. So they just need crew. And yeah, a little bit of repairing. Cool. That repairing shouldn't take too long, right? Because they improved, yeah. They improved the rate at which you repair ships as well, which is huge. Like, I think, I think that's completely fine and a great trade-off to have your ships repairing way quicker than they used to. But you do start to lose, like, overall integrity of the ship. Because, yeah, like previously, the rate at which you'd repair was just ridiculous. 
Um, we're going to win this, right? We're about to break, yeah. Let's get this unit up here as well. Yo, how's it going, Quicksilver? Welcome back, man. Um, nice. Continental Chief, come on. Cool, so we can start doing some LA research. Engineering for muskets, right? It's engineering department for muskets. I mean, I'm going to rush all of them, but yeah. Maybe I should just jump in quickly to make them route. Uh, does letting does not letting the battle run like greatly increase damage to infrastructure? I have no idea. Yeah, again, one thing, one bit, big bit of feedback I'd personally say for this game is it does need more customization in the units, in the in the ships and stuff. You know, let me be able to design the outfits of some of my soldiers and the colors. Like I really think, even even if they weren't dramatically colorful at that period i think for a game purpose rather than a historical period it would add way more in to be able to like personally even if it's just like you pick from a set of custom colors you know specifically historically done for that faction i think being able to like like how um grand tactician does it i think they do a great job of like allowing you to historically edit the way like the look of your units you know um, I think that would just go a long way in, like, customizing and just making it so that you're like, oh, yeah, cool. I really, like, I, I they're, they're my blue boys. They're my, they're my blue boys on my flank, you know? Or maybe even creating a system, like, in that where you actually have to go and get the dyes or something. Like, maybe you purchase dyes from France to color your uniforms, you know? How is Grand Tactician? Um, very clunky. The best way to describe Grand Tactician is clunky. Insanely cool concept. Awful UI. Like the actual, like the actual idea of what they're trying to do in Grand Tactician is incredible. But obviously, small studio, small budget. And yeah, the game is just very clunky. And the UI is abysmal. I don't know why they decided to go with that UI concept. Um, just everything just looks very clunky and just, yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a mess, I guess. They just really, I mean, I guess at this point, they don't really want to revamp it, but yeah. It just, the UI just doesn't look good. Like everything just feels slow and just messy. And there's lots of like the font they chose was just awful. Um, I think like they they did they changed that would be great and also like I wish they would actually go in and and change up like make it multiplayer again like networking and stuff like that is obviously something they just don't have the budget for but again I think a big people's complaint with something like Grand Tactician is the fact that the AI is so dog shit and if they went in and they made it multiplayer and you allowed multiple people like you you allow one person to play on the Confederacy and one person to play on the Union. I think, you know, that would like, yeah, be a big boom. But I guess there's not enough people would want to do it to make that then, um, you know, like obviously their player base is already tiny. So it's like almost like it's like a sunk, it's not, not a sunken cost. It's like a, there's, it's just not worth it for them. Even though I think it would greatly improve the game. But maybe we'll see in their next title whenever they decide to move on to it. I don't know if they've said they've, they've, they've moved on because they're still making DLC. I think they're still improving the Lemon and, List Lemon and Whiskey DLC, which was a cool, cool idea. Again, the AI is so bad, though, that it's hard to, to dive in. Cool, we've got the engineering core now, uh, which is great. Um, best research is probably you, right? And we're going to immediately go down to the US muskets again, as always. Um, yeah, 32 days, 36. Yeah, that guy's better. And then we will go on to... Quartermaster is just more soldiers, which we don't need right now. So I guess we've got artillery. And by the way, the reason why we're rushing all of these brigade, all of these uh, officers as well, is because we really want to um, focus in and get them so they're all researching as quickly as possible. Nice. So have they now fixed units getting experience? They have, right? So just your base units can also level up? Or is it just the officers now that can level up? 
Um, what do we do? I mean, I guess morale's probably better, right? What what do we pick here? Uh, yeah, Grand Tactician is a bit more on the realistic side of things, though. Whereas this obviously is very much kind of, I guess, a mix between like being grounded. Like, this is the per this is like this is the perfect example of what like Total War should do. The game is arcadey. But it has so much depth to that arcadiness. You prefer the, the shooting one? We just have the guns, right? It's just not good enough right now. This is more of a, a late game, I guess. Mid to late game. Tend to favor gunnery. Yeah, I mean, just being able to, I guess, start to challenge a British in melee isn't the worst thing in the world, I guess. Are you guys there yet? Okay, cool. And then you guys head down there. Take Newport quickly. Uh, yeah, ships are close to being repaired, which is good. Uh, we will engage here as well. With a cannon, we should be fine. You don't like the plus one melee defense banner. <laughs> yeah, it's so dog shit, man. Oh, man. Total War, dude. I really hope that we don't get a Total War this year. I really hope they take a year off and they just make the next... Because the Total War, the next Total War has to be good, right? I mean, I say that. It doesn't. The next Total War could be absolute dog shit. And as long as they came out with a banger after that, like, people would still buy it, you know? People go on about this rant of, like, oh, well, if they don't make the next Total War good, then it's over for them. It's not. Like, it really isn't, right? All they have to do is just drop... A, they've, they've got that legacy. Even if they have a million shit games, if they come out of one good one, people will immediately be like, oh, my God, goated. They're the best. Let's go. But yeah, man, I really hope they do. <laughs> okay, let's get these cannons loaded, boys. We got some British. Is uh, is shooting cannon better now as well? Because previously they were like bullet sponges. Looks like they're taking a lot more damage. You guys focus that, please. The god gamer has arrived. Come on, boys. Let's get them first cannon shots off, please. That's one. That's what I'm going about right there. Uh, wait, you didn't take morale on the first tier? There wasn't a morale, right? It's spotting, movement, and whatever it is. You mean on the infantry? No, endurance on the infantry. Because as long as they're not tired, they, their morale stays so high, right? So there's just no point for morale. If they can just, like, stay with better thingy, then the morale doesn't really matter. I mean, but I guess you know better than me, so you're, you're probably right. The last one you purchased was Rome 2. Ooh, weak purchase. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Ray? Welcome. I mean, I say that. Rome 2, like, it, it is great now. Just some easy initial ones before we really get into it. You always do morale? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's generally what I kind of like to, to do. Oh, yeah, cannons are still amazing. Cannons are still good. But they, they do seem much more... They do seem way more vulnerable now. Um, problem is, well, we're actually going to run out of officers soon. We actually don't have any more officers. Uh, cool. So let's start grabbing up army innovations, I guess, right? Oh, we don't need to grab Sons of Liberty anymore. I, I swear previously you'd have to always grab this, but you don't anymore. Nice. Um, Cav's also been mega nerfed, right? Oh, no. We want to get this. I probably won't spend to get this. I don't think we have the officers anyway, so... Okay, great. So, yeah, you guys finish them off. Um, and then you guys go into that. And I guess we'll go and we'll push to take Middlesbrough quickly. Hopefully, you guys are arriving up here soon. We're just waiting for these ships to then go back out. They're just sitting there and dying, which is good. You guys are out of food. 
So you guys just sit in Providence quickly, replenish whilst waiting for these guys to die. One thing as well I would love to see is I'd love to see them change it so that an, a routing unit has to return to a friendly city before they can do anything, before they can capture a settlement. Because stuff like this happens. These guys are now going to run and if, if I didn't stop them, they could literally go back and take Hartford from me or they could push up to Leicester and take Leicester from me and there's nothing I could do about it. And that's just silly. Right. Well, they could do that. Uh, nice. Number 450 men. Providence has been captured. Okay. Infrastructure. Uh, we can't do infrastructure yet, right? Or can we? Oh, we can. Nice. Cool. So, yeah. Build that. Is it just... It's production infrastructure, right? Yeah. Cool. We're, gonna, we, we're definitely going to start working more on, on buildings as well. You need... Definitely, you can start building a lot of this production infrastructure and start building a lot of guns quickly. Um, do we need civilian muskets early? I don't think so. Some more three pounders would probably be a bit cheaper. Uh, we don't have any yet, but as soon as we get one, I will. Uh, do I want to? Do I want to? Where's the, where's the thing? I swear. It's because we don't own the entire region, maybe? I swear there's a way to do missions now. Yeah, up here, yeah. Do you want to do anything here? Loyalty, we don't need. Recruits, we don't need. Construction, don't think. Officers will... Yeah, officers might not be a bad idea. Oh, yeah, we should probably also get a schoolhouse here ASAP. Yeah, let's get a schoolhouse here ASAP. And then probably a carpenter's hut as well, right? Yeah. Oh, my God, just surrender already. Like, jeez. Yeah, you guys have finally arrived good. I mean, I'm hoping, I'm hoping 500, 500 men is enough to warm them off. Oh, you need crew still. Okay. Can you just route? Like, how? Come on. Surrender. Let's go find it. It's just, it, it's just frustrating. It just is really frustrating to defeat a unit and then have it run and go and capture one of your best cities. Like, they should have to return to a friendly city um, before, you know, before any of that happens. They should, they should. They should. This unit's just going to break, but I'm hoping it will just fully surrender now. Another cannons open up on it. Like, that, that is, that's just a simple fix. Like, have it so that routed units will get, like, a debuff. And then they 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 can't take cities until they return back to reorganize, you know? Boom, cool. Nice. So, they did actually... So, they didn't surrender. Again, look, look at this. Now, they're just running back and I'm having to waste so much time chasing them. It's just annoying. Like, go away. Like, it's just so annoying. Luckily, we're not going towards Hartford, which is fine. So, yeah, you guys go capture Newport quickly. Make sure we give this battle. Like, luckily, I have a unit here that will stop them. But, yeah, it's just a bit annoying. So, British Invasion can't stop this one. It's cool that it shows up on the map, though. Okay, one more day and we should be able to send them out. You guys go into that now. Uh, couldn't browsing units lose their supplies and then the unit without supplies can't capture territory? Yeah, I mean, something as simple as that could work. Like, all you need is just a simple, small debuff. Uh, we can also recruit a unit. You guys don't have cannon? Yeah, you guys don't have cannon. We don't, we can't afford cannon, right? We need the quartermaster to get another cannon. Okay. I have no more officers, though. Okay. Can you guys stay in capture, please. It's Newport captured. Okay. Uh, how's Providence looking for supplies and men? Not really great on either. Okay, like, where are they going? Uh, I guess we want to grab this, but we also need officers as well, honestly. 
Okay, let's reevaluate now. So our ships are good now to push out. So let's bring these guys out. We're looking again um, for patrols. We'll probably make a save just in case we run into like a first rate. Um, new YouTube stream save. XOXO. Give me the old XOXO. Uh, cool. So we'll let these guys just build up a little bit. They are reinforcing Middlesbrough. So we have 1,300 men at Middlesbrough. We can, we can smash that with what we have. We probably just need a Quartermaster unlocked so we can, so we can actually uh, buy some cannons. Outfit our men with cannons. And then we're good to go. And we also need what, a recruitment house here as well. Nice. Lots of prestige, which is good. Uh, literally a waste there. Uh, nice. So this is literally just a sloop. I might just delete this, right? And sell it. Uh, every ship could help, though. We'll see. We can't. Well, we can't put cannons on these guys yet. Okay. Probably won't. Then. Not enough guns. Oh, not enough artillery. Yeah. Yeah, we need, we need to wait one more day anyway. Um, so you guys might as well head up north then. We need basically need cannons. Yeah, with these guys down here as well, with a couple cannon regiments, we'll be fine. 1,800 men. We can't stop that either, I don't think. Oh, we do have... Oh, we can put naval officers in here. Perfect. Cool. Okay, so when you guys start on that, you guys start on... We don't need wagons yet to so start on that. Uh, and now we can actually buy cannons, which is the most important thing, right? Uh, so let's buy... Oh, there's only four pounders. Oh, no, there you go. Three pounders. Nice. Um, so let's just buy like six. Maybe like eight. No, we need to replenish some. Yeah, it's a bit like 10. 5k is expensive, but these are going to be important for us to win the war. So yeah, then they can replenish now, which is good. And we'll give, we'll outfit these guys with a cannon as well. Yes, yeah, four per regiment. Um, and I probably want to put them in one more regiment. Like I probably need to build up another regiment as well. Uh, yo, how's it going, Brush? Welcome, dude. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's cool to see so many members in chat as well. It's probably down to the uh, the 50 that Swedish gifted and then a bunch that we got last stream as well, which I really appreciate. Okay, so, I mean, do we need another regiment? I mean, this is enough, right? Once I build up, it's easily enough. There we go. Yeah, I mean, that's fucked, right? <laughs> we just get up, so I probably need to reload from that. That is way too much. Yeah, we need to reload. Annoyingly, that is still how it is. Can we uh can we can we cheese the game and disband our navy again or not? Because if that first rate's gonna be here, then we literally can't stop it. That, there's a third rate, right? I mean, maybe we could... Ca no, we can't capture it, right, with this many guns. We need, like, one more. Yeah, I mean, let's maybe try and make the run. Uh, as someone mentioned, it would be cool if we did have, like, a do not engage button or a disengage at all costs button, you know? Oh my god, look at them. Look at the little fuckers. Look at them. They're like, yeah, we're going to come and take half of them. There's nothing you can do about it. How dare they? Oh yeah, I'm just going to disband this sloop. Waste of manpower. Oh, let's have a save here as well after I've just... Oh, we'll buy the cannons first and then we'll drop a save. So we're going to buy 10 of them again. Boom. Uh, and then we're going to drop a cannon in here. Boom. So then we'll have, what, two cannon battalions. What's in here? Do we have any intel on them? I don't think so, right? Yeah, so oh, they've got cavalry here as well. Cavalry is way less good now though, right? We probably do need one more regiment if I'm being completely honest. 
we have no officers, so... Uh, which means I'd probably get rid of an officer from up here. Oh, these are actually proper infantrymen as well now. Nice. And we probably build him here. Yeah, we'll do something like that. I think with that, we'll be able to defeat the cavalry. Because cavalry is way, like, not as good as it was. It was, yeah, beyond broken last time. Can't believe they're trying to do this to me as well. Come on, ships. I guess we need to get out of this sea region as quickly as possible. But yeah, maybe we do just literally just disband them again. Where are they even trying to go? Oh, up to four Stephens, I guess. How you doing? I'm doing good, thank you, uh, Brush. I'm doing good, thank you. I need to ask him. Um, we're good here, right? Yeah, we're just researching away. I mean, again, working our way down to US muskets. I guess we'll rush our way there a little bit. Might as well use, because is there any bonus, like, major, like, is actually worth stocking reputation? Go on, get out of the sea region. Imagine if I was able to, if I was a little bit quicker, I could have probably have caught that invasion, you know. Yeah, the British have a lot of scary shit, sir. Uh, you guys need to join. You guys are built up. Okay, cool. Let's go then. Bring these guys over. We'll bring these guys down from Leicester and we'll push on Middlesbrough. Oh, they're reinforcing Middlesbrough. That's annoying. Okay, we're going to have a 450 men. Where? Here. Uh, Okie dokie. You guys need a cannon. Okay, it's a few more men than I would have liked to have dealt with, but that's fine, I guess. You, the ships are going to make it, I think. Where are you guys going? Oh my god, they're reinforcing with more! Sorry, what? I mean, we can still win that, but it's just annoying. Also, we don't have enough cannons for this, okay? I guess that's what we're spending all our money on, though. Uh, you guys fit. Oh, God. I wasted a lot of days in that research. My bad. Uh, we don't, do we have... We do have Edicts unlocked as well, yeah. So, Hartford... We probably just focus on mining. Yeah, it's cheap and it's just more resources, so... Uh, but actually, so one of them had a provision one as well. That would have been not bad to grab. Think you're doing a bandit run on 1.2.8? Nice. I wish I could play 1.2.8. The computer just says no. <laughs> okay, so you want to focus on something low rep. Okay, cool. I'll keep it around about 30 then. Okay, yeah, you guys get into Newport quickly. Um, yeah, I'm just to buy some more cannon. We're just going to buy them out of three pounders. Sorry, I know the camera's spazzing out. Give me a second. I'll sort the camera out quickly. They have 4,000 men in Middlesbrough. Sorry, what? I guess you guys can keep it then. The, the camera freezing is literally me in real life. It's me for real. Look at it. That's me for real. That's me for real. But that face when you see that the British have 4,000 men.
Crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. Hold on. Sorry, let me just let me check one thing really quickly. Cool. Sorry, I'm just looking. Uh, sorry, I was just looking. At it. I just had to check something from my uh, my ad agency. Cool. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, yeah. So I guess we're no longer going to Middlesbrough anymore. Said every person in the world in real life. Uh, that's pretty crazy. At least our navy made it through, though. I'm happy with that. My navy can sit back here and try and push out a little bit, I guess. Uh, okay, cool. Well, let's take these men and men. Let's head up north then. I guess we probably need to leave a garrison at the fort here. Capture Boston. Yeah. Oh, man. Maybe I should keep my navy around here to try and cap these, capture these invasions, you know? Like, how bad could it be? I mean, this one's going to get through, obviously, but I kind of feel like having this navy, like, around here. Okay, let's form up in Leicester. See how many men they have here. Yeah, I guess we'll have to Fort Stephens and try and win a battle there. Oh, God. Okay, what ships are here? Uh, they, have, they have small ships here. Okay, cool. So what? what is that? That's like a brig and a sloop. 36 guns? Yeah. Okay, stay here then. Stay here and try and, uh, try and grab them. Try and engage them after they've done that. They have 400 men in Fort Stephens. Okay. Again, by the way, please, uh, Quicksilver, if you have any good advice for, like, what I'm doing, if, this, if I'm about to get absolutely screwed, please do tell me. I would appreciate that. Uh, we've done putting that. We need to get in a carpenter shop and then a recruitment house, right? Recruitment house there. Um, we want to probably build a carpenter shop here as well, ASAP. Don't attack middles, pretty. Yeah, I think that's probably pretty solid advice there. That's your advice. I appreciate it. So let's try and patrol. Try search for British ships out here. There's 28. Cool. Yeah, perfect. These are two very captable ships right here. You never see. I mean, I'm only playing on hard as well. I'm not playing on the hardest difficulty. But I guess it's because I just wasn't... I should have been faster, I guess. I guess I should have just poured more men into, into Middlesbrough, like, right away. I guess I was a bit slow. I was too busy yapping to you guys. I mean, that, that's good, though. Like, that, that's good, but, Brit but the British soldiers actually unentrench and go somewhere. Because then it gives you a chance to defeat them, right? Because the British only get men through events and sea reinforced sea invasions. The British don't generate the soldiers like the Americans do. Uh, I guess maybe it's just the AI in general. Because that's that's very interesting about this game, right? Is the AI just like like unlike to even though Total War does cheat horrendously, they like recruit soldiers, they spawn in soldiers, I guess, in the same. They give the illusion of them playing like the player does. But in this, it's just like, yeah, the AI just spawns in the next group of soldiers, and that's what they deal with. They don't actually build them like you do. Which is interesting. Oh, uh, what's my PC? I've got an i9. I've got a 4090. Uh, a DDR4 RAM. You know? That's what I've got. Okay, let's go on to chain, uh, and let's move in. Yeah, like, it was probably just me. Yeah, I mean, that's the reason, right? But also, it's not actually that bad either having them in Middlesbrough because then it does split them up and I can probably take the forts quite nicely in the north quickly. As long as I have enough men to disincentivize them 
to actually... Um, yeah, if I can disincentivize them to take it, then I'd probably be pretty happy. They bought 109, 109. Yeah, this will be a great fleet. This fleet could probably take a... Yeah, I mean, maybe not. I was going to say it'd probably take a third rate, but it probably can't. Crew-wise, maybe. How many, how many men does a third rate have? Like, men, no, I'm probably thinking of a fifth rate. How many guns does a fifth rate have? 50. Yeah, it could easily take a 50, because that's like, what, 400 crew? I probably need these ships to level up a little bit, though. Okay, we want to basically turn into this bad boy. I mean, I guess we could get a great volley off first. Give them out, boys. It's going to do, like, no damage, but... Yeah, completely with that. But nice, each ship can take on the other one, and then we just need to rush back to port and repair. Luckily, Hartford has crazy repair speed. If Portsmouth is repairing as much as it is, then chances are this will repair crazy as well. I mean, maybe actually we just close in on this ship quickly. Yeah, maybe we just close in on this ship. So again, the reason why I'm firing Grape Shot on these guys is because I don't want to destroy the ship because then it means I have to repair it. So I'd much rather um, try and capture it. Let's go down, they gunned under half sails, so I would as well. Cool, let's... Yeah, there we go. So to make sure we watch their sails quickly. They're going to turn into me. They're going up to full sails, so we need to go up to full sails as well. Cool, we boarded. Perfect. And we're even still firing a bit of a... Uh, a bit of canister as well. Oh, they've gone against the wind. Perfect. So as they turn in, we'll kind of close in on them. We won't go directly against the wind like they are, but we should be able to still board them like this. About to capture this ship. Yo, Marcellus. How's it going, dude? Good to have you in the chat. You bloody watched the tutorial. Have you watched the tutorial yet? You guys are a bunch of slackers in my, in my classroom. They shouldn't be able to turn, because they are going literally against the wind, right? So we should be able to capture them this way. Boom. That's one captured. You haven't yet? God damn it. You guys are all getting Ds. Ds nuts. No, you guys are all getting a failing grade at the moment, I'm, I will say. Not even Swedish, who I would assume would have been my A-star student. Oh yeah, everybody gives them excuses. I've got loads of exams. I work a 60-hour week. God. I don't care about your excuses. <laughs> I'm going to be by the way. Right. Is that going to turn me or not? Have I fucked it? I think I fucked it, right? Obviously, I needed to slow down, but let's maybe turn around. Uh, I guess, yeah. I mean, it has to be this ship as well. You guys can literally just sail off into the winds. Yeah, exactly. As Brush says, I work an eight-hour week. God, excuses, excuses. Disgust me. You guys just say, well, if you don't have a crew to deal with this. Now, this is uh, risky as well, by the way. What I'm doing is it's going to really reduce my ground force. It's going to really make having a ground force weaker because a lot of my officers are going into the Navy. But I think it is invaluable to work on the naval, the naval combat side of things, getting your fleet built up. Even if they've nerfed the benefits of it, I still think it's just so useful. Come on, boys. Load that grape shot. I'm so out of it there. <laughs> I ne nearly believe the eight-hour week. Is that because you've been working an eight-hour week? <laughs> Sorry, an eight <laughs> All right, let's board this bad boy. Go up to full mask again. We'll crash into them just so it kind of sorts out my ship. I might lose my front mask. Uh, I actually have smashed the sail. So that's unfortunate. I have to repair that. It does make it easier, but it does mean I also have to repair that as well. So it's kind of like, you know, it does make them much easier to capture, but then I have to also build a new mask. It's going to take a while, a little bit of a longer time um, before I can... I don't anchor, actually. 
am I not am I not good enough? Apparently I'm not far enough. Am I not far enough away, maybe? Come on. Is that is that not perfect? I feel like I'm perfectly angled. Turn a little bit, I guess. I mean, obviously they're going super slow now. I feel like I'd be perfectly angled, but I guess not. There we go. Well, I get some good cannonball shots off, but I should be able to get a grape shot or two off. Oh my god, they just killed 13 crew about volley, I think. They're actually already close to breaking as well, which is good. They're already breaking as well. The cannons is ripping through their fleet. Nice. Uh, game is not on Steam yet. No, Marcellus. Uh, it, I think they've said it's coming early access summer, and I think they're sticking to it. They haven't mentioned that that's not going to happen. So, yeah, I would imagine June, July is when it will hit Steam. When is summer? I mean, exactly, you know. Summer for Australians, summer for English, Western Southern Hem Hemisphere, you know. Cool. Well, we just doubled our navy. Granted, not the best ships in the world, but we have now just captured two more British ships. Yeah, I think you'll... Yeah, I mean, again, if, if, they're, if they're planning that they'll finish the American campaign, they have a lot to add before them, right? So... Oh, my God. Okay, well, there's a six-ship fleet there. That's hardly fair. Okay, well, we need to... I'm going to drop a save because, again, if you lose your fleet, there's just no getting it back at this point in the game. So we're going to go up this way and then we're going to wrap around and go and try and sneak into Hartford, I guess. Uh, how are we looking on ammo, by the way? How are we looking on ammunition? Yeah, we've got enough in stockpile for provisions. Oh, you can buy... You can now sell provisions. Good. And hopefully buy them as well. Alright, let's push up here then to force Stephens. That'll be good. Yeah, you can see, look, they're, they're moving them immediately from Salem already. To reinforce the fort. Will I send more men? I feel like I don't want to. Maybe I do, though. Hopefully there's no reaction from Middlesbrough. Let's stay very much away from that six-gun fleet. Yeah, 166 guns. Too big for us to worry about. Are you guys all tired? Yeah. So let's let let's set them up here. We are sending one more division. So go like that. Oh, no. They're attacking. Yeah, they did just pounce. Have I, have I just lost that? Do we need to reload? That's like so bad if we lose Providence. Of course, obviously. It's like our entire army. Oh, they're attacking up here as well. And they caught my fleet. It's actually a pretty shit fleet. But with our crew and stuff, we just have to hope we don't lose a ship, I guess. Well, we might need to reload anyway. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd probably just disband this as well. Oh, no. They're not attacking here. Okay. My bad. Interested to see what we're doing here. We're we gonna use a ship. We're gonna be able to escape. Okay, yeah, let's just spam these guys now. We don't need the officers, so we'll just let them have Portsmouth. Oh, they just uh, nice. And they just went ahead and abandoned the, the position. Nice. I, I love it. I love it that the AI sometimes just gives up on positions as well. I think that's really cool. Okay, we might need to reload if we lose the Navy. Like, I wish there was, like, a disengage button, you know? Like, I don't want to be in that fight. Do not engage. Do not engage. <laughs> yeah, we disabled them. Yeah, we're losing ships. We lose everybody? Yeah, that's fucked. Whew, maybe we can avoid it. Have I tried playing the Hegemony games? I played one of them. If I ever wanted to sponsor the channel, I would 100% be down. But yeah, not gonna go out of my way. Um, I don't really know what to do. 
Because this navy needs to get back to port. Maybe we like go here and we just try and sneak into Newport and wait for these ships to piss off. Maybe that's what we need to do. Uh, give me a second. Um... Oh, cool. Give me a second as well. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm playing uh, I'm playing Twilight Imperium uh, Async, and it's my go, but we're also playing with all these random-ass factions, which I have no idea what they do, so... Uh, they both went faction first, okay. Um, fuck, I have no idea what to do. Because <laughs> we're, playing, we're playing with a new Distant Stars expansion pack. Uh, do any of these factions have Anti-Mass to begin with? So, like, all these factions are completely different. Choose two. Because that's not a bad slice. What's the best slice here? Probably this one, right? But it's hard to expand. Oh, because of that planet, yeah. Just got, like, a boring influence slice. Double green skip. Red planets. <laughs> I have no idea <laughs> what to pick. Maybe I'll just do this in a bit. Yeah, sorry. I, I, I won't do that now. It will take me too long. I'll just, I'll just let them know. Sorry about that. Cool. Yeah, let's just get back stuck back in. <laughs> yeah, that's because we we're basically using the brand new like we're using a fan made. Um, so if you don't know, async is basically all done through Discord and stuff. Like it's really cool. It's an amazing bot. Works awesomely uh, and stuff. And we're playing with a fan made expansion pack, uh, which is really well thought out. I'm actually buying a, a copy of it. Um, I'm actually like physically buying a copy when they print it. They're getting it made up and stuff. Uh, but yeah, we're using that plus like it's got like 30 new factions and I have no idea what they do And the game is so complicated that you just have to be very much locked in <laughs> Yeah, no, it's awesome. You guys are gonna love it. Like if you love risk, you're gonna love it It's but it's, it's a very political as well. Like, you have to be very like forward thinking I'm not sure if anybody else is here Marcellus. So I'll give you a little tip you got to think about, like, what you're going to be doing in a couple turns time. That's the main goal. There's only, generally in a game, there's only about five turns. So generally, you only get to move stuff. Like, you think about every time you move something, you lock down a system. I mean, it can't be moved again for that turn. So one way to think of it is, like, if you're going to move something, that's that move to a turn. And you only generally get to move stuff, like, five, six times. Because games generally last about five turns. So the biggest tip I can give you is like, think about where you want your fleets, like in advance. Like next turn, I'm going to want my fleet here so I can attack this person. Generally what happens is people spend all game building stuff up and then all their stuff is like really far away from where it needs to be. Because obviously once you move something, it locks it down and you can't then move it again. Okay, so this time the AI is actually going to stay here, which is good because we can take advantage of that. We need to obviously disband this, but I'll let it... Ah, we'll just take the guns. Uh... Oh my god, why is my fleet over here? And why is this ship here? Oh nice, the ship leveled up. Cool. Take the willpower. God damn it. Okay, well, we're gonna send one. Okay, let's drop a save and let's try and send this ship in. How is uh how is temp position now, uh, crisis? Out of interest. Cool, and you guys engage that please. I mean you guys are probably exhausted, but I want I'd rather kill this British regiment. Alright, uh, let's try and surround it quickly. People always complain to me in the comments for not surrounding the, uh, the British regiment, so we'll do that. Get in there. Get into Newport. You can do it. Yeah, we lost that. That's fine. Go on. Get into Newport. We're going to make it. 
nice you guys are surrounding it which is good nice made it into newport i mean again oh wow the repair speed at newport is actually decent like it's bad oh because it has a port yeah so this this is like one of my favorite changes they've made oh my god am i gonna lose a ship to a fucking british i better not but yeah they've made it so basically the the construction speed is different to repair speed now and because this has a dock in it it boosts up the construction speed it's huge so nice Okay, we, 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 we haven't quite enveloped them yet. Okay, you guys just hold there. And you guys fire. That should be enough, right? Cool, let's go. Right, I'm just going to bombard the fort anyway, but make my life a little bit easier. Tenth is very balanced. Imperial Guard B faction right now. Everyone's surprised. Oh, when, 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 when Imperial Guard are the best faction, you just know it's such an annoying addition because it's just like 50 million dudes just like fucking you up and it's not like that it's just all the all that i bet you it's like i bet you it's all their mortars and like their their basilisks and stuff just killing you out of line of sight Okay, so let's get our cannons in position and we're just going to bombard the crap out of a fort. It's not beautiful, but it's what we got to do, eh? I don't think they have any cannon in this unit, so we should be fine. Oh, Bulgrim. Okay. Oh, we do have some artillery. Okay. Oh, I'm actually pushing out as well. Wow. I mean, yes, kill the skirmishes first, of course, set up. Guns take up position to help protect them. Uh, I guess, yeah, start whittling down that unit. Even if we take a bit of cannon fire, then you guys get in here as well. Uh, for your information, charge spamming in a fort doesn't work anymore. So you actually have to shoot them now? Like, shoot them in the fort? Oh, they actually brought their cannons down as well. Wow. Okay. Cannon up. Okay, so you actually have to, like, physically start juking it out with them. I mean, that's way better. Yo, how's it going, Yim? Welcome. How you doing today? Like, can you actually... Because, like, previously, they just wouldn't take any damage when you try to juke it with them, but they actually take damage now when you shoot them on the wall. It looks like they are taking a lot more damage. Just we'll have to see still. I get a little closer. I'm also taking a lot of damage though. Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like I can juke it out with them. I'm also I'm losing a lot of men. Go yeah, canister range. But when you... Oh, whilst I'm pushing infantry up as well. Like, push infantry up to take the brunt of the assault of men that the cannons canister them. Yeah, it makes sense. So I was going to say, now the cannons die way quicker than musket fire. Probably not a bad idea. All right, cool. I can do that. I can do that. I mean, luckily this fort is... Bit, like, this isn't going to be Fort Tigra... Or anything along them lines. That's probably canister, right? That has to be canister as well. Yeah, MG slightly closer than the cannons. Yeah, we'll target the closest in the game. Yeah, 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 I get you. We are definitely losing men. Again, it's just our morale is pretty trash. Ready, ready, fire. I feel like we've made a good start so far. Of this campaign. I mean, Middlesbrough having as many men as they have is pretty fucked. But we just won't have Middlesbrough. And it's also nicer that they have less men, I guess. Captured a few. I mean, like, try and capture them guns. Also, Pandra, are you still here out of interest? 
can you tell me about capturing enemy guns? Do I need to just kill them? Or do I actually need to kill them? Do I just need to route them? Or do I need to kill them? And is it better? It's better to get as many of these units captured like this, right? And it will give the, the actual unit a better chance of surrendering. Let's outline here if we can. Oh, don't for any fire, please. Can you guys charge or not? He's going to throw any fire into their backs. Get the giveaway over here as well. We're going to need even mortars. I mean, you can get mortars as well. One thing as well I really hope that they plan for this is like different start dates as well. Like, let me let me start a campaign in the, the final years of the war and stuff, you know? They'll definitely, you know, spice up the, the starting positions. Hopefully I pronounced uh, your your name correctly as well, Yim. I always uh, I always struggle. Nice, they just strap surrendered as well. Perfect. How's our other fleet doing? It's coming down. Good, good, good. Again, we're gonna we're gonna sneak to port, hopefully. Just drop a save here after the battle as well. Why not? Okie dokie. Let's go, go, go. They are reinforcing here, but we'll be able to take him and they'll probably go back. But again, I wouldn't mind engaging them here either. Be fine with me. Okay, boys. To port we go. Not that we can then push out and take on this British fleet, but we'll try. Oh, there it is. Don't don't aggro me. Okay, we took we took four Stephens and then there you go. They're going back to Portsmouth now. Good. Uh, we just got ammunition, provisions, and seven guns. Okay, Adoki. Okay, cool. So we can garrison there for a time. Nice. We're gonna get back. Okay, well, let's let's repair up. Let's repair up. Some of our ships got better stats, so we'll of course take the will. I think taking willpower on ships are better because I don't really see them ever getting out stamina'd. So let's repair these boys up, get them up to full strength, and hopefully that fleet fucks off to a different tile. Okay, good to know. Thank you, Quicksilver. I appreciate it. Um, so what do we do? Do we just leave a regiment here? Like a full strength regiment, and then we bring everything else down? Because right now, we're pretty much in a stalemate. Like, I can't push on Middlesbrough right now. No way. Like, are we just literally waiting now? Until the next day? I can't even remember when the next date is. There's no factories. We have a dockyard, though, but we can only make crappy ships, right? Uh, we're about to be done with this in 23 days. Am I looking to do anything else? Like, getting some extra food infrastructure might not be a bad idea. We have the money for it. Something like that. Let's do it. Because I know, obviously, when winter hits, your provisions just get absolutely ruined. So I'd really like to be prepared for that. Oh, yeah. We can commission factories. I just don't want to ruin my economy. Like, how, is the economy better now? Out of interest? Has the economy gotten better in these patches? Because I feel like you just always... You just always trend down. Like, always just trend down. Yeah, maybe it's better actually to get a bit of mining infrastructure and... Like... Winter's a little ways away. So maybe we do get some, like, some, some mining infrastructure in as well. Oh, we can't? It's a bit more expensive. Oh, it's 30, yeah. We can let that build up. We do have a carpenter shop being built. Yeah, been built. Okay, let's see what they're, they're, they're cooking over here. I'm gonna probably bring these guys down anyway. We've yeah got seven brown vessels. Seven. The people yearn. The children yearn for the mines. Provisions are less of a problem if you build some supply wagons. Awesome. Again, not really much I can do about that invasion for now. Yeah, just 4,000 men on winners, bro. How many in Boston? 5,000 in Boston. Okay, 600 there. I guess we have to attack for the north then. And then how many in Portsmouth? Uh, we take the money. Yeah, how how's the, has the economy had any, any changes? Because I always felt like no matter how much money I would have, I would just always trend downwards. And there was like really nothing I could do about it. Uh, 
Okay, cool. So I think we attack from the north then. Uh, which means we probably need to send these guys down to replenish. So let's weaken our defense. Uh, wait, did we just get an alliance or with someone? I didn't even see. Uh, Intel can be built. I guess we should do this. Get towards propaganda. Spend for it as well. Okay, you guys come back down to Hartford to replenish, please. Uh, we'll, we'll raise another regiment. John Cummings, eh? Gonna need to buy some more guns, though. Some more three pounders. Okay, cool. Are we making? We're making a little bit of money through sea trade as well now, which is nice. What an interesting surname. <laughs> I think some bugs were fixed around provisions and it seems too high by default now. Hey, I'm not complaining. An easier time of it is good with me. So yeah, Boston and Middlesbrough is a no-go for now. So what we'll do is we'll probably just send our soldiers northwards and we'll try and take Portsmouth and Salem and draw some more soldiers north. What do we think the lowest amount of soldiers I can leave in Providence is until the British seize the opportunity and attack me? What, what do we think? A uh, camera. I haven't even got a cheap cheap cable either. Like, it's a half decent one. Okay, produce 100 muskets. I can do that as well. Uh, oh, this guy's really good, actually. We should probably put him in our quartermaster division. Research. That's fine, right? Yeah, he has to do that. I mean, the colleges are what we want to work towards anyway, so that's fine. All you need is five good men. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, we could probably sit here and replenish, actually. Leicester has a decent amount of soldiers. I'm really, like, I'm really nervous about building in Leicester because I feel like the British will just come and take it, but I guess we should. Silly not to. Two regiments? Okay. Like, these are nice, of course. They have my best commanders in. But the cannon is just way better than everything. I haven't built other fusiliers. I, I thought it wasn't worth it because it would just suck your officers. And they just like, the cannons are how you kill the British. So there's like no point. But I don't know if that's changed yet. But yeah, I haven't built other fusiliers yet. Oh, I love it. I love how quick the Navy replenishes now. That's so nice. That's so nice. That's goated. Look at that. The Navy is basically this. Oh, because of the structural yeah, fatigue. Okay. That's so nice. Uh, do we send the Navy out? I don't know. I don't know if the British have a fleet here or not. I guess we'll save and we'll, 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 scum, we'll scum it if we need to. By the way, as well, Panda, you know. If you want to, you know, if you want to hit up the developers, I mean, you are, you are, you work on the team now, right? You, you joined the, the studio. What's your official job title? Or are you just still a helper? A big, big helper. Either way, you know, if you, if anyone wants to float the idea of having a referral link to this game, because I feel like I've pushed a lot of sales to the game, you know, having a little like 5%, 10% kickback. Definitely be happy to, you know, promote the game a lot. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You're a contractor? Nice. Congratulations as well. That's awesome. Boy, like, do you, like, focus on, like, the QA type of stuff? I guess. But yeah, I mean, if anybody wants to float an idea about having, like, a referral link, you know. Business stuff is still for all sterner. Maybe, maybe I'll float the idea. So we have 86 guns here over two ships. 86 guns is going to be a 72 gun ship and then a, then a sloop, right? I don't, I don't think this can... Game balance is your focus currently. Oh, well, then I... <laughs> let me tell you. Please, <laughs> please make it so that we're routing units have to return to a, a, a city but i guess that causes so many problems like i just fought it through in my head and like making the ai have to return to a city 
after a battle. But then what happens if that, if that city gets taken? Either way, please give the AI debuff to taking settlements. I'm sure it's, you guys have got this feedback a million times. But yeah, have, like taking Newport, for example, and the AI just ran through my lines doing whatever they wanted. Please make it so they have to return to a city or something before they can. Because that was very frustrating. But yeah, nice. Congratulations, Steve. That's awesome. Okay, let's take them. And then I guess we're going to take both these cannons and just leave the Fusiliers here and hope the British don't leave Middlesbrough. Probably make a save. And we're going to go, we're going to go reclaim Portsmouth, I think. When's, when's the map expand? Do you guys know when the map expands? A million things to look at. Yeah, I can imagine. But especially as the... Like, it's not like the game is done. So you can really... You can really, like, focus in on, like, okay, we need to fix these these problems. I imagine every time the map expands, a billion things come up when it comes to balancing. All right, let me just turn the music down a little bit. Uh, let me just turn the music down a little bit. Yeah, I imagine so many things pop up, like, as the map expands and stuff. Okay, so we'll bring you guys and you guys. Cool. So that, that's... And we got... So that's about 2,000 men. Yeah, 2,000 men should be good. Oh, no, they're attacking. I made a horrible mistake. You lied to me, Quicksilver. Did they? No, they didn't. I heard shooting. Oh, they're attacking up here in the north. Go, go, go. With what? They routed me already? Oh, they already routed me. I mean, that's fine, though. I'd much rather they do that. Yeah, 1,700 men. That's fine. We can fight that. Form up, boys. I need you guys to get all your energy back. You can retreat back. That's fine. Okay. Okay, yes. This is what we wanted, right? Is this about... Can we beat this third rate with two bricks or not? I don't know if we can. Probably too much crew. And we can't stay in a fight with it. Like, two six rates can't take a third rate. No way. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, man. The sooner you guys add in a disengage button or, like, a... Yeah. Yeah, you, you kind of need, like, a button to, like, avoid ships of a bigger class than you, you know? Like, that... Because if, if, I, if I just let that battle play out, I'd lose my entire fleet and we'd be literally just screwed. So, yeah. We, we, we just need to run away. Too many ships. Uh, okay. I mean, thing is, though, we could probably, now that we've uh, cheated a bit, we could probably actually reinforce this now and stop it from falling. Yeah, we just, we, that's, that's too big of a fleet, unfortunately. Yeah, I need to find, like, a fifth rate. Can you guys get up there? Yeah, we are literally arriving just in time. Hopefully. With these guys in here, if we can get them in a battle, we might be able to hold it, honestly. Need you guys to like hurry the f up though. Where are you guys going? Just move! Come on! Okay, so it's one full British regiment with three supporting like half regiments. Do we wait for reinforcements? I think we probably do. I think the general being here is a good sign. And then I think we wait for all of this to arrive. Because I don't think we win it elsewhere. But I think I'd like to let these guys hold on. And now that the general's here as well, he might be giving them a bit of a morale boost. I think we need to wait for everybody to turn up, though. Okay. Nice, yeah. Because, like, that is literally, like... All the hard work I've, I've done in to, like, build this fleet up, for example. Um, you know, I just immediately run into a British, like, third rate, fourth rate, and it just dies. And there's nothing I can do about it, you know? You know, like, there's nothing I can I can do. I don't make, I don't mind taking a pounding from that. I, like, I, like, basically, like, I don't mind getting punished. 
like trying to run away but yeah i just literally would lose my fleet i'm gonna think yeah i think like they're just something just to like avoid avoid bigger ships like that out outmatch you like a, a certain amount of classes ahead of you you know like you know like oh if it's three rates ahead of you then don't don't engage you know avoid it maybe you take a little bit of damage or there's like a consequence for it but yeah like just avoid i guess you do it for like instead of rates like power rating auto resolve um balancing you know like oh if the auto resolve is this much against you then just you would like just disengage to not engage <laughs> Man, I really want to do this with just the three regiments. But this one is, yeah, already broken. So, yeah. I think you guys just hold. And we'll do that. Headquarters. Yeah, maybe we should increase our cost as well for soldiers to boost morale for this battle. Yeah, I mean, just by an extra doubling their wages does make a big difference. Okay, you guys are going to arrive in time. Yeah, you guys are going to fall back. That's fine. Uh, do we know how, uh, how like, other AI factions are going to work out of interest, Panda, yet? Have you, have you guys talked about that yet? Oh, no problem. You have to go. No, no worries. Because I, I was just wondering, again, like, again, don't worry if you've already gone. I'm just voicing my, I'm just yapping um, to, to the chat. But yeah, I was wondering if it was, they were actually going to be visible on the map and like actually move armies around or if it's going to be more of just like a theater thing like you just supply the theater and if the support is high in said theater, then then like the British get their soldiers on your map. Nice. Yeah, we'll take the prestige, of course. Okay, we'll let these boys rest up a little bit. They had a long march. So we have we have 2,200 men, but we have gun. We have cannon. They have one set of cannons. It'll be six pounders. But, you know, yeah, the 86 guns is just too much, unfortunately. We need a smaller British force. Oh, okay, we can we can build one more building here. Uh I guess a weaver's house for textiles. Uh, I guess we get a carpenter shop. Because you want to build carpenter shops like literally everywhere, right? I'm pretty sure they will be visible on the map. Turn to show. Yeah, I saw the, I saw that on the Discord of the Native American um, soldier. Uh, we should probably bring these guys into a brigade as well whilst we're here. Oh, yeah, that's something as well. I know Panda's already gone, but something else like making it easier to form brigades, especially like forming a brigade in a city. That's a must. It's so annoying having to do this outside of a city. Okay, boys, get your energy back, please. I guess we should probably rent a... I know I don't want to mess up my economy too much, but we probably should rent a... Just one. Start using some of this copper, you know. Oh, the game also wants me to make muskets as well, right? I guess that should be my priority. It's only 100, right? I want to use my navy. Too many guns. I need to get my navy out, like, out here. There's no, are there any British ships in, uh, in the Harford area? Is this not a sea region anymore? I don't even know. All right, cool. Let's push it now. Let's go, boys. Keep brigade slash army organization memorized. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. The nice thing is as well about fort defense as well. The British do actually come out of it as well, so... We'll be able to, like, deal with, like, half the regiments before. Okay, let's do this. So, this is going to be a big battle. There's a lot of British soldiers here. We've got one full British regiment. Like, this is what's scary, this full British regiment. The other one's not so much. I mean, still, they're British soldiers, but there's the cannon. Luckily, the cannon's going to stay inside of the settlement, most likely. So, I mean, we have, what, one, two, three, four, five companies of of cannon that's pretty that's pretty nice
Uh, nice. Um, oh, God, sorry, I just tapped out. There we go, cool. Yeah, so, I mean, they're going to keep a lot of men inside of Fort Stephens. Is Fort Stephens still going to be destroyed? Oh, nice, the damage. The damage is still there on the fort as well. I like that. Cool. Okie dokie, let's sort this out then. So, let's set up our, our grand battery. Because chances are, the first two British regiments will be aggressive. Oh, also as well, something this game needs to have is like being able to press a button and having where your units are going. Like have these battle lines show up so I know where I'm moving units. So I can actually do my formation. Pro like, I don't know if these guys are going to be in the way or what. So let's deal with these first initial rapscallions. And then we'll deal with the rest. I know, obviously, the pre pre game deployment is coming to the game as well. They've said that, so there is going to be like depending on the battle and I guess the commander and stuff. There's going to be engagements where you can actually set up your formation up beforehand, which obviously is a must. Okay, so uh, that's annoyingly, they're actually going to take the, the forest away from me. If they put, they might not even push, to be honest. And we, we should probably push. I and mean, there should be a way as well to keep the formation. Like, I should be able to, like, alt drag this, what I've got right now forward. Rather than having to, like, individually do it, you know? Like so. Let's just push up a bit. Uh, the battle map size to the campaign, square size to unit speed of the map really needs a balance, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, as, as I said earlier, oh, they are coming, cool. Nice. So skirmishes first, you guys just set up there. Obviously, we want to take residents inside of the forest if we can, give us a bit more protection. Um, yeah, I, I imagine it's very difficult to balance this game when, like, I'd say maybe two-thirds of the map isn't even in the game yet, you know? Okay, let's get these cannons up and just deal with these god that I hate skirmishes so much, man. Okay, I'm actually going to fall back here a bit. Yeah, let's cave in a little bit. Let's get these cannons turned in. Please load and just kill these skirmishers and one volley. <laughs> Whoever kills the skirmishers, I give you guys anything I have. British skirmishers are just painful, man. But if we're, if we're literally just engaging one British uh, regiment, I would not be too upset about that. There we go. Wheel their numbers down, please. I'm not getting a hit on me first. Question is, do I just get really close with this many regiments? Surely that has to be enough. Okay, finish them off, please. The British are getting really close. Look at that. That's like a true British tactics. But it makes our civilian muskets better, right? Because you can see the drop-off in damage is pretty bad. So we should be able to route this one quite nicely, actually. I don't know where the other one... I guess they're just camping before, maybe? Okay, routed that. We friendly fired our unit here. Of course I did. My bad. Okay, let's start pushing forward here then. I think we've done our damage. Let's push up. Good damage there. Okay, let's push up a little bit again. Push the cannon up. I think it's going to come back from routing, but... We need to close the distance. They've got, what, like 1,800 men? Oh, skirmishes, man. Okay, we captured the skirmishers. Huzzah! Go and have them executed. Go chop off their hands so they can never fire again. Yeah, the British, in this smart, the British are using their numbers. They're not going aggressive. They're using numbers. Luckily, we do have a lot of cannon, though. And they only have one. So, I guess we're going to probably set up, like, here. It's going to be where our formation is. Something like that. Set up the battalion over there. With, like, cannons, like, here. And then have just you guys protecting the artillery. They might push forward as I come into view, though. 
But it does look like they are going to play very defensive here. Which is fine. They will have... They have I, think, I think they have a six-pounder. But that's one six-pounder. And it looks like it's firing outside of the settlement. And of course, we're going to take damage moving forward, right? We're going to need to get there. But at least it also gives some time for our men to, like, chill as well, right? By doing this, we're not... We'll get, like, actually in the forest here. Um, by doing this, we're also, like, giving our men a little bit of respite by just starting the artillery bombardment. You guys are out in the open, I know, but that's fine. Yeah, there's a lot of British soldiers here. Okay, you guys all just go in hold position now. Get that extra bit of cover. That's a little bit of damage. Yeah, that cannons are positioned here. I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? I'm actually going to fall these guys back, I think. Yeah. I really don't want to be in range of that artillery, I'm not going to lie. All right, start firing. You guys are all resting? Yeah, nice. Everybody here is nice and rested. Uh, yeah, I've got a Paradox mix. You can find it. It's on um, Andy Takes channel. But it's just best relaxing music. This just goes through all of them. It's really nice. It's like a four hour track as well, which is like how long I stream for. So it's literally perfect. Cool, that's some nice cannon shot there. I haven't got... I haven't got why, why are you guys set up like that? Let's get a bit further forward, I think. Cool, we're baiting them out as well, which is fine. I have these cannons as well. We can bring these cannons up in the light woods. Just to make sure I have infantry there ready to support if they, they push out. Because it's going to get to a point where they don't want to be bombarded anymore. And then they're going to push out and try and stop me. Again, we could get closer, but I don't really want to risk it. I want them to come away, like, because I don't want to get... I don't want to take the front line and then also this. Okay, they've engaged, which is good, because then we could outflank. Probably some reinforce there. And we, ha we have ammo. We have ammo for now as well. So I'm fine here just to whittle down their numbers. For now, maybe a couple volleys. We'll see if we can encourage them to, like, come at us. With this much cannon fire, we should be fine. Fire. Probably bring our general over on this right-hand side. Yeah, we're flanking them. Ah, uh, yeah, the cannons are doing damage. Well, some of them when they hit. Yeah, it's slow, though. It really is. I'm going to get a little closer, I think. I might need to stick some infantry in this, honestly. Shift the cannon over. Is that gonna, they're going to probably push. I'm like getting very close to going into melee now. Well, not into melee, but into musket range. I think this will be canister range. So that does mean I do need muskets here as well. Yeah, there you go. But the nice thing is, it does also mean that, you know, I can then just shred them with canister. God, that unit is still fighting me. We need to get way closer. Okay, now we just need these cannons to start doing work. And have you guys on support this, I guess. Or maybe we just do need to edge forward just a little bit. I'll see what these guys do. Oh, we're st oh no, there you go. There you go. It's slightly canister. I don't think all the cannons are canister range, though. Yeah, I think you need to edge forward a little bit. Same way. I think you guys need to edge forward a bit as well. Okay, we've broken them. You guys should be more than enough. Because, again, we really don't want to, we don't want to, like, sacrifice a lot of these units either. Because the more of these men we lose here now, the worse it's going to be for us. 
That should be fine. That should be perfect. We also need to bring you guys up. Okay, we, we make a little breakthrough here. We start bombarding before. Again, our cannon, like, we are running out of ammo as well, which is a problem. Okay, we've broken back. Good, good, good. Okay, you guys start focusing in on the actual defenses. We've broken the outer layer, but of course they will come back as well. We can start dealing with this a bit more as well. We have a lot of musket moon actually in here now. So you guys can push up and start dealing with that, I think. You guys are exhausted after fighting them. Okay, we're forcing some movement now, which is good. You guys pull back. You guys deal with that quickly. Okay, but you're just moving to make room, I think. My unit's already broken. Jesus. Got four units shooting one, and we're we're struggling. Yeah, round them. Good. Yeah, they're starting to shift more men around, and we can just obviously use our cannons to shot to deal with them. They're still here. Yeah, it's a it's a nice it's a nice little exchange of graphics. I feel like like it's 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 like obviously it's not like as beautiful as Total War, but it does what it needs to do, right? It does what it needs to do. I feel like I feel like it represents, you know, it represents the uh, the game well. Okay, cool. Did I have to commit cannon there? I'm not sure. We finally broke that, which is good. You guys just hold there. We have these. We have a lot of reserve as well. Remember, we have this in reserve still. Uh, they obviously also still have a lot in reserve themselves. I want. I want to at least make sure we break the, these fortifications as well, so we can push forward here. Oh, you guys are fine. You guys did. Probably push forward these cannons a little bit. Starting to bring some soldiers out as well, so focus this down. You guys go and engage them. Yeah, good cannons to show here as they pile out. There we go. That's how we do it. That's how we deal with the British threat, boys. Annoyingly, we're not going to, like, route, route them, so they are going to come back just from cannon fire. Like, they'll be rallied. Yeah, that ain't going to go well for us either, I don't think. forward a bit here i guess yeah, you guys are out of ammo now we have we, we still have enough to bombard them for a bit though so yeah you guys focus up on here still uh i mean again we need to push up there we could try and push forward and deal with these cannons but it's just not worth it i don't think you know not yet oh nice but cannons are shotting this from here now as well perfect Okay, let's start. Maybe start to bring up a couple units of reserves. We'll let the cannons maybe soften this up a little bit more. Because yeah, they're ripping through that. They rallied one of my units. That's fair enough. So I'm gonna put a big push over on emphasis on this flank. Okay, let's reinforce then. You guys have routed and come back. Okay, let's bring up these guys now. Then this is obviously scary. Let's give a general over here as well. This is where the main fighting is going to be. You guys are just pretty tired soldiers, so just hold up there. Yeah, this is a pretty big engagement with the British. Like, this early on, it's not the easiest battle in the world. Uh, the cannons should probably start focusing over here now. Like, I think musket fire will be enough to break this. We also have a lot of soldiers here as well still. You guys come around here, please. I guess we want to get pretty close. Cool. So we've broken that. So we now have a way into the fort if we need it. Which means all of this cannon can now start focusing over here. So you guys get over here now. But this is what scares me. How are we being flanked? What? 
Is that my friendly firing? I don't think so. You guys should be able to start outflanking them. I mean, maybe crossfire? Okay, reinforcement regiments are here. Okay, we need to start putting a lot of a lot of fire down here. They got their routed. That's so how are they being flanked? Tell me that. Like are these guys? No, these guys can't fire into their flank. That's bullshit. Okay, let's crush them. You guys go and hold. Get back on your cannons, you cowards. Nice, we break them as well. Okay, just keep it up. I guess we'll start pushing up the battlements now. We could be charged. Like, they could charge us. Hopefully, they won't. You guys getting back on your cannons? Yeah. I mean, you're both out of ammo, so you're basically useless. Just give me cover. Give me any cover. The close, close quarter combat is going to definitely benefit me, so... Okay, let's break with what was outside the fort first. Holy fuck, that was a lot of good shots by them. They just didn't take any damage in that entire volley. Okay, Dekey. Let's try and start hitting boss back there. You guys, no point shooting that. So just shoot that. You guys have ammo as well. Cool, yeah. Let's roll you guys up then. Okay, we routed that. Okay, that's something. What do we have? What do we have left as well? You got prisoners. That's going to be close. I, I might literally just run out of ammo here. Like, Bands of Power is saying we're good, but they have a lot of very scary units. I mean, luckily we've taken this flank, I guess. Oh, we captured these guys. Get them out of there. Okay, I mean, we've broken. We've broken this flank. We need to get him off this side of the wall, I think. If we can get him off this side of the wall, then that's fine. Let's get these cannons up here, and you guys can, like, go up a little bit more. Ready. Yeah, I mean, this is all they have left. I think we've got this. They have a lot of very wounded soldiers left. My god, we take so much damage, like, pushing up. Like, yeah, we literally just take so much damage trying to push up these battlements. See if this, this cannon can fire. It's probably going to get absolutely shredded, but if we can get one volley off into that, we win the day. Like, literally, mm, just get one volley off and we'll be, we'll be in the battle. That's all I need from you guys. No, they routed. Fuck! Bad. And they routed as well. Alright, boys, let's finish them off. It's like literally a 31-man unit. But, yeah, there we go. Keep on focusing on that. You guys obviously turn to deal with that. Okay, they're going to push up and try and deal with me here. That's fine. We have more men. Shame we did lose that cannon bow. Just get them off this wall and then we can push into the fort with what we have. Make sure we have every man, woman and child who has come back from routing can reinforce. Problem is as well, these cannons reload so slowly. They're just out of that They are firing forks and spoons at the enemy. Okay, I mean, that's that routed, so you guys can turn and deal with that. The cannon is probably the thing pushing us back here, though. But that must be out of ammo as well, like, really badly. Get these guys back out of the enemy formation. Oh, we just need a mass route, man. We just need these guys to give up. They've literally fortified this, so we need to pull back. Yeah, we can't. If they fortified that, they get like 50% cover, so we need to pull back there. We just don't have the ammo. I think we're going to get one volley off here and we're going to charge this unit. Oh, we don't need to. Good. 
They did break. Good, good, good. Okay, the units with ammo left get back inside the, get inside the settlement. Our artillery is literally useless. Woo! I mean, again, we don't really outnumber the British at all in this, so... Captured them as well, nice. It does, it does seem like capturing British units is way easier now. You guys probably push around here. Oh, there's artillery just fire there. You guys push in there, of course. Get everyone to get in range to fire. And obviously hold your position so we get a bit more extra cover. We break them. Yeah, nice. I mean, this has been a bloody battle, don't get me wrong. But I think we are going to... We are going to come out on top. And hopefully we, we, we uh, fully clear a bunch of these British regiments as well. You heading out now, Mallard? All right, see you later, man. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Man, it does really seem like it's just a Battle Lord issue. My PC, but maybe, maybe it's because Battle Lord is. Obviously, this game isn't pushing my PC. And my, my CPU is up to 66, so. Maybe it is a CPU issue. It's, it's just so annoying. I can't just, like, get a diagnostic and be like. Oh, that's a problem, you know? Like, my, my C. Obviously, Battle Lord does push my PC way more. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe it is just like, oh, my CPU gets too hot. Have you tried, do you know what temperature your uh, CPU gets to, Chief? <laughs> also, I like how you're just like feeling my pain as well. Like, do you know like how hot your, your CPU gets when you're, when you, when you have that issue? It's just like weird, it's like, it's like saving, you know? Does saving really push the PC that much? How am I being rear flanked? Unless I'm shooting my own friendly units. God, that's a three star British regiment or company there. Three stars. How am I being rear flanked? I don't get it. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, 70 is nothing. Mine was getting like a 80. That is such bullshit, that unit's rounding. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just ready to never play Banner Lords again and just go bankrupt and lose my house. It's fine. You guys just have to gift loads of members so I don't have to play Banner Lord ever again. I can't play Banner Lord ever again. Okay, they're routed, so we can start mounting the... We can now start... We've taken the fort, basically. And now we can start mounting the defences against the, the other British forces. That should be the final nail on the coffin when we start firing from the British defences down on them. They'll probably rout them because now we get a massive cover bonus. Oh, yeah, I mean, that rear flanking thing has happened non-stop. I mean, just if you really want to show him, just timestamp it, right? But, yeah, I mean, that's happened to me since forever, that that rear flanking thing. Yeah, I mean, you, can, you literally have video evidence, right? So you can just timestamp and link it. But, yeah, I mean, that's, that's been happening for a long time. There we go. Enough to break the British now. Close in the net. Surprised they're not routing you, honestly. Okay. So I assume we do want to try and capture this artillery, right? But I, I, I get, we captured the three star unit as well. Wow. We're capturing loads. It seems way easier to capture British routing units now as well. So we captured a lot. Get them with the cannonballs, boys. Charge, charge, charge. Just get into melee with them. That's all I want. Okay.
Yeah, I would imagine defending before is way easier now as well. I mean, I guess it makes sense. But yeah, look how many more British uh, British units we captured. And I guess that also has a massive impact on like what actually gets rid of on the campaign map. It makes like actually doing this valuable, right? Because previously you captured like one or two. We basically, ca we basically captured an entire regiment, like a full strength regiment minus the cannon. Big Bosch. Okay, so after that battle, we had, we had a thousand more men than them we were able to inflict 1200 casualties 241 missing um and we ourselves lost 1200 men three guns missing we'll take it at this point in the campaign we'll take it hopefully we'll see a lot of surrenders on the campaign map i i would imagine that one full strength british regiment is still somewhat intact and can run away the other three i'm hoping will be gone Oh, no. Yes, we killed it. Oh, beautiful, boys. Hit them and route them. Hit them and route them. Hit them and route them. Yes. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. Minus 1,700 men. Okay, this 12, these 1,200 can go back to Hartford. And then I guess you go take Fort Stephens. Nice. Our general leveled up here as well. Experience move speed. Oh, my God. This is an important one. What do we take here, Quicksilver? I like... Minus 20% ammo of units. That just means, I guess, we don't lose ammo as quickly. Yeah, they're all good. Like, move speed is great. Training. Trainer as I'm like, whatever, right? I feel like trainer doesn't matter too much. Um, okay, we've taken back that fort. You guys rest up there. Yeah, like being able to outmaneuver your opponent seems really good. But also just having more ammunition on cannons also seems really nice, right? Uh, you guys probably have to go all the way back to Hartford to replenish after that. Like just being able to completely outmaneuver. Okay, 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 okay. Three ships of 70 guns. We've got, we've got more guns, yeah. So that means they're going to have like Okay, this is the battle we want. Right? Yeah, we have 96 guns. So chances are they'll have like a fifth rate and then two small ships. Do you think experience? I feel like experience is the worst one. I don't think I move speed. I I, I like I think move speed will be really good. Oh, you said not the middle. I'd say not yeah, not the middle one, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, I agree. Yeah, I think I think the other two, like having 20% extra ammo on, on your entire army seems pretty good. But also as soon as you get supply wagons, that's fact like deals of that anyway, right? So there's like an answer to that. Just getting 20% move speed, you can't do that, right? There's no way for you to get that 20% move speed. Right, boys, hunt them down. This is the battle. This would massively improve our fleet as well. Yeah, and you guys are going all the way back to Hartford to replenish. We have enough men there. You're in Fort Stephens. Okay, you guys are replenished, I guess. Okay, they are moving men now as well. We just, we literally just wipe. Okay, boom, 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 boom. So a 40 gun. You said 30, 28, 12. No. Yeah, and this, this is what we want. This is exactly what we need to conquer. Getting two Dianas allows us to then challenge a third rate. So this is big. And we have enough here. I guess we might just try and capture the seventh, but we might just sink them both and just take the Diana. The Diana is such a big upgrade from our sixth rates and seventh rates. Let's do it, boys. Hopefully that's the Diana, so it's not going to be firing on us immediately, but we'll see. No, the Diana's on the front of the formation, of course. Okay. So, of course, everybody go to Grape. Um, I guess you're going to have to lead in this. And um, then we're going to have to disembark. Has the, has the disembarked um, ships been... Have the, uh, 
Has the bug been fixed with the rowboats yet or not? Does anyone know? Is it literally just still one ship or can you disembark everybody now? What's the bug where you can only disembark like the first one ship, for example? I uh, go up to full sails as well, of course. You don't know? Okay, I will not risk it then. I will just go in with like our two big ships and hope for the best. Everybody should be on full masts as well, yeah, of course. Okay, so we will, we will, if we can, we will just engage here. Uh, obviously, you guys want to try and block them off if you guys can. You guys try and move them there. And we obviously need this ship to be the one to engage. And you guys close in there. Like, we just need... Oh, he's going to crash into his own ship here, I think. Perfect. We just need this ship to capture it from one side. Um, and then just slow it down, basically. Oh my god, get out of my way! I don't know if this is going to be enough, you know, about like reinforcing rowboats. I'm going to hit him from both sides, right? But all oh, you guys can go down sails. That's a lot of crew still, right? I mean, that's still a lot of crew. The sloop is like really in my way. Okay, we've, uh, we've engaged. Let's disengage these guys. And I guess we'll try and disengage like 50 men here as well. And hope they don't get sunk. Oh my god, come on. Do board as well. Board! I'm going to lose that fleet. Okay, they boarded as well. That must hit their morale. Go, go, go. Yeah, I probably, I probably need to restart this battle, honestly. Fucking sleep got in my way. What are you guys doing? Get over here! I mean, to be fair, if we sacrifice this entire fleet to win, that's still a great win in my books. Good little volley. And the great thing is you can also board unboarded ships if that makes sense. So what we can do is we can reboard this. Uh, and then reboard like immediately. I mean you can also then board this. So they just got on my ship. Oh we have we have some more ship people here as well. Nice. Get on this one. Are you guys not bored? Oh, you, you glitched out, that's why. What are you guys doing? Get on that ship. Okay, it's good. They've glitched out. They've surrendered again. We're going against the wind here. We need to restart this one. I need to. I need, I need both my big ships there so I can engage them quickly. Yeah, I just need to take it seriously. Not jump to battle too quickly. Okay, so we got a wind advantage, which is huge. 
Uh, cool. So you guys turn in. They're going to try and turn again. Because obviously they're against the wind. You guys go that way. And then you guys reinforce. Yeah, this is a much better setup as well for us. Everybody go to full mask. Get rid of that. Go to full mask, please. Full mask. Ideally, we can just literally board both our big ships right away and then reinforce with these small ones right away. But the thing is, like, this Diana class is such a big upgrade for, like, our entire army. It really is. Okay, he's going to try and turn into the winds there. Okay, that's fine. You keep on going, like, this way. You guys just follow in. Please. We'll avoid that ship this time. Actually, going like that. They're going to do that. They're going to do that. We'll cut them off. Oh my god, the sloop literally is running as like a blockade for it. It's literally stopping me and floating back into me. Okay, go down to like battle sails. And we're gonna do. We're gonna disembark these guys like now, because I think it's gonna happen sooner rather than later. Like literally that sloop is running interference how crazy is that man okay these these boatmen are, are close which is fine you need to close in there full mask please you gonna do that i'm gonna have these boat crews rush over you guys can now deal with the sloop with your 50 man crew oh my god they just destroyed my front mask that is so fucked That has just absolutely ruined me. This ship is now literally a sitting gun. Okay, go to Cannonball and fucking demolish the sleep, please. God damn it, the sloop is pissing me off. I literally can't even board this thing as well. Out, out turning me, out speeding me. These rowboats rush. All it takes is one cannonball as well for these rowboats to be completely gone. Yeah, this ship is taking an absolute smashing. Sorry, I'm hitting my own ship here as well. Oh, this is not a good battle for the, the Supreme Admiral Jackie Fish. As these crew can make it, we should be okay. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Okay. God, how are they already close to, re to retreating? Oh, we took some casualties. Don't sink me. Come on. Shippy. Rendered, then you guys just go and board it again. They've still got 200 sailors in there. I don't think we stand a chance, honestly. Maybe they've got their sailors up here as well. What if we attack from the other side as well? Constantly reinforcing, I guess. I don't care if I lose the entire fleet, by the way. We, If we take this ship, then it's worth it. Like, literally, if we if we take this fleet, then it is, it is worth it. It's not looking like we're going to, though. 
Oh my god. Why, why can't you guys get on? Oh my god. Just get on. Oh, no, I fucked it. I destroyed that mask as well. They hit it with cannonball as well, actually. Try and hit the morale. God, that's... How is that sloop still standing? Somebody tell me that. They still beat me there as well. How is that sloop still standing? That ship surrendered. 70 men. I am determined to get this ship. It's just such a big upgrade. Maybe it's like, maybe you can actually damage ships now, though. Maybe that's the way to go about it. Like, maybe we, I mean, fighting our cannons at it is not a good idea. I think boarding and conquering it is still like way better. I'm literally raking down the ship's stern. We can do this. It's easy. It's just having to commit so much. Maybe we just completely ignore the Diana class, deal with everything else, and then then just fire cannonball. Like, I don't think it's actually a bad idea to fire cannonball now either. Okay, let, let's try a proper battle where we actually try and sink some ships instead of just rushing capturing. Let's fire cannon because, again, it doesn't take a year to, like, replenish ships. Let's sink the smaller ones and then deal with the bigger one. Like, deal with the Diana class a little bit later. Let's try that. Because, again, naval battles, like, naval battles have changed. So let's focus in on these small ones quickly. Without wasting crewy as well. That's also kind of important. So let's obviously just turn in, destroy that. Now, it doesn't mean that these ships are going to get ruined, but as long as we can save the crew and then enough to then conquer this a little bit later, that's fine. Yeah, like, we're already doing some pretty good damage to them. You guys go around there, please. You guys go around there as well. But it's, the, the problem is that Diana class has such better, like, bigger guns. We're actually already almost breaking the... Uh, Sloop. Now we're focusing it with our guns a bit better. Uh, you go down to, like, you match the speed of this, actually, I guess. These smaller ships are a bit faster, so it's actually not a bad idea to maybe add them in. Let's focus down that sloop. I want it sunk. I want it gone. I want it routed from the field of battle. Um, this could be an interesting, like, improvement to the game if, it, if this is the case. Of course, now we should probably focus on that. Okay, focus back on the sleep now. There's a crew there. Right, you guys are pretty close there. Nice. Okay, sloop is now taken care of. I mean, it's not taken care of. Are you guys going against the winter? You guys need to turn. But then but the Diana class just rips into me. So it's like, I can't really afford to then go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Diana class whilst this is also around. Okay, maybe now. Maybe now that we don't have other things shooting at me, I can now do this. So then, like, you wrap around. You guys try and do from that side. Yeah, like, maybe now we try. Now that we haven't got an annoying our sloop firing at us, we can get everybody in. Okay, cool. So, yeah, you guys wrap around. You guys are gonna get in here. Which is not killing enough. They literally already broke me there. Okay, just. Literally go there. You guys go there. Don't 
of his bear just like hit the crap out of it or what? They try and ruin his armor. We are killing Groove this way and then strip like rape once her armor is ruined. Wow, we might actually make it a re retreat. Yeah, nice. It's actually kind of a long round. is still firing. How dare they? I've made a mess of this. Oh, leave them brave sailors alone. I need like board somehow. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. This Diana class is just such a big upgrade, man. Let's go down to half sails. What are you guys doing? Get around. Warp them, please. Come on, it has to be close enough. It has to be close enough. Okay, we bought it. We bought it. No, we didn't. It's all green. Board. Board. Board the ship. We board or not? Oh, they're not boarding. There we go. Cool. We are routing so fast. Holy crap. I mean, we might do it. We've got 90 more men. That's it. I mean, have we done it? No, they routed! No, we sunk! Fuck! We have a ship left? Oh, we have a ship left! Oh my god, I can't believe we sunk. They're sinking as well, I think. Is this ship gonna get make it back in time? I can't believe we sunk. We literally had it. Uh, can you guys just board that? You can't, okay. And now we have to avoid cannon fire with these ships. Dodge, duck, dive, and dodge, and duck, and dive. We need this ship to get back. It actually has a decent amount of crew as well, so it might actually be fine. I mean, its sails have messed up, and it's about to break. Oh, my God. I can't believe we sunk. Please just don't break. Also, how is that sloop still here? Sorry. We just need to board this thing. And then we capture. We got 103 sailors. We got an extra like 100 here as well. Ready to board them. Oh my god. They're going to turn and broadside me and break me. I'm not fast enough as well because I've lost my front, my front mask as well. Oh, that is a war crime right there. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm going against the wind here as well. What am I doing? Luckily, they're going against the wind, so we might be able to board them, please. For the love of God. Oh, God, they're like Tokyo drifting me. How's that fair? Just hit them here. That'll turn us. Oh, my God. They, they literally just Tokyo drifted me. Okay, just get on that. Get on that. I'll boost our crew up. Yeah, we, we're down. Oh, they just lost a mask as well. Just let me board you. Yes, come on. Yes. I'm so close to sinking. All I want to do is get on your ship. This is so dumb. Fuck. Oh, that's so annoying. Literally, this, in fact, if we had stayed on that ship for more than two seconds, we would have had them. Okay, this is good. This is good, okay. We are going to fire cannon because it's going to hurt them. They're going to turn immediately. Go up to full sails. Fire 
fire cannon at it. Every side. And they should destroy it. Some damage. Okay, you guys deal with that. I feel like we're doing pretty, like a pretty quite a bit of damage to them, and yet they're just shrugging it off. We have like three ships without guns on them. Okay, let's just focus down on breaking every ship. So that's just less cannon fire coming in. So you, you go deal with the sloop. You guys triple team. You guys triple team this whilst that ship's going away. This is perfect. Get a volley off or not? No. Okay. We need to divide and conquer them here. That sloop is going against the wind. You guys just match that speed for me. We're, we're hitting this. I mean, we've obviously taken a lot of damage here as well. But it's fine. You guys wrap around. I mean, honestly, let's fucking board the thing, man. Let's like board it. This I don't want to board because this is too much crew to invest. But a sloop, like. They are, they're, they're dropping down quickly, which is good. You guys turn now. Okay, this is the way to do it. We're learning, like, we're learning. The problem is with naval battles at the moment, it is like, uh, you either, you either, like, win or you lose your entire fleet. So there's no real, like, in-between, so you kind of have to save and reload. Until you start getting some good ships and a big enough navy. Which is fine at this point in the game, but is also still kind of a bit frustrating. Okay, cool. First that ship surrendered. Well, we, we could try and capture it as well, but... Like, these, these small... As soon as you get the Diana class, these other ships just become way more uh, valuable. Okay, cool. Let's get into the wind. You guys go around the back and we'll start hunting. Obviously, we still have to deal with the sleep still. Um, that's what your job is. Okay, this should be enough. And we are gonna we are gonna try and juke it out a bit with this ship. Try and run. I think we got their crew down to like 220 last night before attacking. I also would imagine us killing their friendlies also reduces their stats as well. And remember, we have three ships, so we can start reducing the damage on our ships. Don't get that close to them cannons, please. That's a fat old crew there. Oh yeah, this should just drop anchor and shoot them. This is the ship we need to, like, engage. Okay. Yeah, they are sitting docked now, so we can just shoot them to pieces to our heart's content. I feel like this is considered a war crime, no? If we can hit them, that is. Oh, that's a problem as well. We don't want to be getting shot from both sides, so... Very careful there. But yeah, let's just start hitting them with a cannonball. We need to whittle them down. It's just not going to happen otherwise. I feel like we're at perfect range here just to finish them off. Well, that ship's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, you guys probably do need to commit a war crime. I can't let them men, men, men get... Oh, we've been demastered there. Where's this ship, man? Where else over here? Rape them or something, you know? We sunk that yet? We still haven't sunk this. It's literally sitting still. Just sink it. 
God, naval battle's gonna be so frazzled, man. Finish them. Don't let them on that boat. I literally physically cannot survive them getting on that boat. An extra 40 men will end me. Yeah, we sunk them. Nice. <laughs> Do I feel bad? Yeah. Does it matter? I mean, at this point, we, we can literally just leave them. They're so far away. Fuck them. It's annoying because that ship should just be sunk, but it is what it is. Okay, Taking on water. It's not looking good. It's fine, boat. You guys can back up to cannon. We're just going to get this Diana class down, you know? I also can't get too far away from this ship either. If I get too far away from this ship, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I know we're going against the wind, but we're going to try and turn around them. I kind of need to keep them close to this ship. Because obviously it's where my cannon is, but it's also where my extra crew is. It's awful dispersion. Uh, yeah, I mean this ship is. I know. I almost just need this ship to tank for me as well, because I think I think we don't capture the Diana class without wounding it first, like without starting to hit its crew. And I say that we have what? If I literally abandon every ship I have, like that's an extra six hundred people. Yeah, let's let them turn in against the wind. I think maybe we just go for the board, and we literally just like just send it. Like, what are the chances they can kill this many people? Oh, this range of our cannons are just bouncing off. Uh, I think we just go for it. The like, last time we managed to whittle them down a bit, but I think I think it's just gonna it's just not gonna work. Like, this ship is gonna take a volley and then literally be dead. Luckily, we managed to dodge most of it by turning. And yeah, these, like, whatever I bring are, like, four pounds on this ship just don't do anything. Like, the ones that hit. Yeah, look at that. That's fucking awful. I was turning, to be fair, but. Um, yeah, I think we just literally link these bad boys up and we just move in. Oh my god. No, the sloop sunk. Your sole job is to commit war crimes, okay? No, your sole job is to commit war crimes. Someone's job here is to commit war crimes, okay? We cannot let them... We cannot let them set up here. If they reinforce, I am in big trouble. Fire everything of the small rowboat, please. Oh my god, they're going to get in as well. You failed me. Who knew losing your front mask was such a bad plan? We're going to get one? Come on, get one. Get one at least. This has to be a kill here as well, surely. Drop anchor. Hit the boat, hit the boat. Come on, sink one at least. Oh my god, we're gonna get 30 men. No, that 30 men are literally. Okay, we sunk one, we sunk one. Come on, be a hero. Be the hero we need. No! Oh, they're 30 men, sink them, sink them! Ah, oh, fuck, that's so, so bad. That is so bad. That is literally so bad. We try and do we try for a sail now? Like we, we literally can't win this. Do we just retreat. Yeah, I think we just I think we just retreat. Yo, how's it going, Greek? Welcome. How you doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think we just try and retreat. Maybe the auto resolve ticks down their crew a little bit. Now that we have four ships, maybe that's enough. But we didn't really lose much crew. They did. So we'll see. How's it going, Quick? Have you watched my bloody video, my tutorial videos yet? Got this battles even going on, like. We're moving soldiers still. Okay, you guys head back to Hartford. Just want to see that. Yeah, can they just keep that crew right? 
Guess we'll drop a save save, like a... See what the, maybe the ultra results starts kicking in my favor again. We start using some crew. What do they have in Portsmouth now as well? I must have a lot of okay, reinforcing. Okay, 600. That's fine. We can, we can push to Portsmouth, I think. What does the battle look like now, crew wise? We're gonna get our ships all fucked, but. 2i5, 2i5. They have. 266. This is basically sunk. This is basically sunk. This doesn't have a back mask or a front mask. Uh, maybe let's just li let the auto resolve kick down again. Maybe one more tick and then we give it a go. I've, I've committed. I mean, we could just go back and repair again. We did sink a, a sloop and a brig. Not the best in the world, but it's something, isn't it? Uh, nice, we managed to get that. Cool. So what do we want to work towards? I guess just producing four pounders wouldn't be a bad idea. Like just standardized four pounders. Or do we work towards mortars? Then we need to obviously research howitzers and other mortars. Uh, let's head down the left. One more tick, please. Okay, now we go, I think. Don't really see them lose any crew there, so we might just literally be at the same crew. How are we looking? Did we lose a big ship? Oh no, we yeah, we, we didn't. Cool. How many how much crew? 260 still, okay. That did not help. Let's just do it. Where you guys going? This way, please. This way, please. Oh, this is not gonna work. This is not. This is not happening. I don't. Yeah, this is not happening. Let's just let the auto resolve tick down. Hopefully, we don't lose too many ships. It is what it is. We try to. We try to. We try to bite off a bit too much when we can chew. We need like the one ship up before. But we need a sick rate basically, or like another sick rate. I think. I mean, again, we are doing damage to it, but they're just not losing crew is a problem. Yeah, we lost basically half our navy. Here's what it is. Let's get back, we'll repair. Take us 10 days. That's really nice as well. I love the repair time now. Good. Oh my god, we have like barely anyone here as well. Fuck, that's not good. Uh, reinforcements, an extra, if we can get 500 men here, I should have done that way quicker. You guys hold or not? Nice. Farmer Revolt will take that. You guys get in range? No, just get in range. Just get in range. Okay, boom. Uh, we'll get you guys properly in range. Oh, boom. Nice. Beautiful save. Oh my god, my general is getting absolutely smacked. Okay, so, but it is still one full strength British regiment. Keep that in mind. But that's fine. We'll have two militia regiments inside before. That should give us enough protection. The cannon should be able to do enough damage. Oh, it's annoying they start off all the way out there, though. I mean, it makes sense, obviously. But... Yeah, we do not have a lot of men. Okay, let's get these cannons up on the walls. Can I bring you guys back and get... No, I can't get the cannons on the wall, I don't think. Oh, I'm low ammo as well? Oh, that's not good. You not got... Can you guys not remount now? I'm not seeing the option to remount. That's a bit of a problem. Hopefully this uh, this unit can get in. Um, I vaguely know how the game plays since I talked a bit about it with my colleague at work, but I definitely need to watch the video, read up. Yeah, I mean, just, literally just watch the two videos. They're like 20 minutes long, two times speed them. That'll just give you a general idea of what stuff does. And then what we'll do tomorrow is we'll literally, uh, like, we'll just run through the turn and I'll basically tell you guys how to play, like, the first turn. I'll be like, okay, cool. So you, what you'd want to do is you want to do this. And you do this because of that, you know, and that's what this does. And we'll just basically, like, run through a turn. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot more British here than I was maybe anticipating. There's a 
lot of British here. Holy fuck. Sorry, how's that cannon getting focused down so hard? We do not stand a chance here. Like, how did the game ever think we had a chance? Holy fuck, the British muskets just demolish us. I wonder if it was because, um... I'm going to reload that battle, because I wonder if that's because... I just mounted the walls. By mistake, obviously. Let's try that. So, obviously, let's push these guys up. Uh, back to the fort. Actually, I'm just going to rush into the fort and get the cannons up as well. Because you do... I mean, you get 69% cover. Nice. So, that does add up quite a bit. I mean, this is, yeah, March position infantry inside the fort. That's a lot of British muskets, though, yeah. At least trying to maybe get the machine inside before. I guess I'll leave a regiment outside. Let me just get out. The British muskets are just. And yeah, for some reason I can't remount, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, we just need so much men, like a single British musket volley is just insane. Nah. We have no ammo there anyways in Spitfire. I don't know why we can't remount the walls. You know. We can there, just not here. Okay, that's there. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. But yeah, this is where I'm going to wrap up the video, um, or the stream, I think, here. We'll, we'll probably come back to this, so we'll be streaming this again next Wednesday. Um, as I said, this will probably be our main game until I can sort the Battle Lord shit out. Um, yeah, we'll probably just load back from here, and I'll probably get my... Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just... Yeah, I guess we'll just have to fall back from before again. It's actually not a bad, like... We'll, we'll just take that loss, whatever. Um, it's actually not bad that it's happening like this, though. Because as they take the soldiers at Fort Leicester, um, like, we draw men out. And if we draw more men out of the defences here, then we can kill them at Fort Stefan. So we're basically, like, bringing them here so we can, like, individually kill them. And we need these guys to go back and replenish anyway, so uh, that's fine. Also, it does seem like the economy is way better. Obviously, I don't have as many units and stuff, but I feel like I'm making way more money than I ever have been. So there's that, I guess. Um, there is that. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going to wrap up the stream. Thank you guys so much for watching there. I really do appreciate it. We had a couple members as well, Squiddy and NLD. If you're still here, thank you so much for that. Uh, and yeah, we're back again streaming Wednesday. We now stream every Wednesday, Friday. Might not be streaming uh, next Friday. Just because I've got some wedding stuff to do. And I'm then busy that weekend, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, if not, you guys will obviously have a video uh, as well. Um, but yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, this is a good start to the, the new part of the campaign. The Navy stuff was going well, and now it's not going well. Um, is what it is. We failed to capture that. I, I maybe just, yeah. If it was by itself, it would have been easier, I guess. But the other two ships made it a pain in the ass. Um, and I maybe just rushed through it a bit too much. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Cool. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, drop a like, drop a comment down below. It really helps out. Especially the comments after the stream. Like when the stream ends and it goes to a video. If you guys could all go over and drop a comment and just say enjoyed it, whatever. It really does help out. And then more people will watch it afterwards. So really appreciate that. Everybody else have a great day. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, that sounds great, Panda. Thanks for jumping in and letting us know.